Okay. And. Okay. Yeah, Living plus caster level of effect. Okay, what's uh, your caster level? Uh, I think nine still. Okay. Yeah. Okay, boy, you guys are lucky. Uh, it fails to break the enchantment. Okay, she sits down. Solon starts choking the shit out of her. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> not right. not to kill to disable I, I never got the actual rules from you but I, you, I assume you can do that because you can do that in real life yes yes you can yeah. and um, alright yeah, I don't so, know exactly um, how to use these things yet but I, you know, okay. yeah. I'm assuming it's some sort of grapple check yep uh, it's auto succeed she doesn't even fight well I guess she defend herself but not really it, you're fine yeah, um, she's trying not to die okay. yeah. alrighty no, she's not dying she's getting knocked up mm. The uh, interrogator is going to try also to hit her with a uh, whole purse, and I'll just do a wheel save. Yeah, he fails. Okay. Uh, <laughs> guys, she's got to roll bad to fail fucking a save of, of will. I'll tell you that much. Um, like she did. Okay, so uh, that round goes. Okay, so what do you want to do immediately? We can go out of rounds now temporarily. Oh, well, for um, this how, round. Uh, yeah, how, how long does it take... To put the gag back on her. Uh, it would. Uh, it probably. She's not resisting. It's just a full so round just... action. Yep, that's what I do. Full round action to replace okay. the thing. Okay. You place the gag back on her. Alrighty. Did we have? Did we have the gag off before? Yes. Yeah. Don't you, need, don't you need voice to cast Liberating Command? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so she's not able to... Be, I'm, just, I'm, I'm choking the shit out of her, just pointing that out there. Okay, uh, you're choking the shit out of her. Uh, the Inquisitor uh, is standing there ready. He's ready to counterspell whatever happens. And uh, two guards rush in as well, in addition. Finally arrive in the next turn or so. Um, uh, how long do you keep choking her? <laughs> Till I'll tell her to, to stop. stop. Yeah, okay. after, like, it goes past her turn, she's still sitting there, she hasn't been able to get out, then I'll tell him he can stop. Okay. Yeah. Nah, okay. give it another couple seconds. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I do let it go one round extra, just to be sure. Just yeah. to be Solon, sure. <laughs> Solon's not going to um, put her in a chokehold, but he's going to be ready, standing behind her, to do so. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, it takes you a while, you guys, a while to recover from that. There's a slight moment of uh, chaos. And mm -hmm. then the discussion begins where the guards are very concerned about this whole ordeal. And uh, they want to return her to her cell and end the interrogation immediately. She can't get out of her bindings if she can't speak. She can't break the enchantment either, any longer. How about we... This this woman has information that's vital to Lyceum interests. How about we have more guards in here doing their job? Uh, the guards are rather strapped right now, Solon. That's not exactly a, it's a tall order. Well, we've got you, and we've got these fine gentlemen. Yeah, we got two guards and an interrogator there now. All right, uh, cool. They are going to need a reason why you need this information. And what authority you are uh, now claiming uh, to interrogate her? We, okay. Solon, Solon's going to look at Laria. You fought her and I <laughs> did it. <laughs> but, from what I heard, it was sort of a pain in the ass. Do you think Ulysses' word, uh, find out any costs, will help here? Yes, I believe you would agree with me on this. That we need to find this information out at any cost. Now, we'll skip most of the information, we'll just get the pertinent stuff, we'll wait for a better time to parse through her later, but there's information we need now, tomorrow, in fact, we need to, we have to have this information to do our job, Okay. and to save Harn. Alright. <laughs> uh... Diplomacy checks or a socials check, whatever you want to try to do to convince the guards. I'm going to assist Alaria. Okay. 
Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Whatever, Alarius. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Can't get much better than that. Yeah, what she said. Okay. No, she's the fucking savior of the goddamn universe now. <laughs> okay. The guards say, "All right." Uh. <clears throat> they'll stay here. You got thirty minutes. No, that should be all can, I need. Can Solon whip together another couple earplugs to put in them? <laughs> just be like, hey, if something goes down, just start swinging. Yeah, you just pull some web out your ass and slam it in their ears. Here, put this in your ears. If you see me start attacking her, you start attacking her. Right. Okay. Okay. All right. No, so how and now are you going to pursue her responding to you? She's just going to write it down. Okay, do you undo her hands from behind her back so she can write in front of herself? One hand. Mm hmm. Well, and if one hand's undone. She can pull her other hand forward. Solon will hold on to her other hand. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, Solon will web the other hand to the back of the fucking chair. All right, so you have one hand, both hands essentially free. The finger bindings are still on one hand, though. Okay. Yes. All right. So, ask your questions, and she shall write. Um, I want her to write down um, what she knows about the uh, Lyriel, about basically anything she knows about Lyriel, about the Drow's plans in Lyriel specifically. Okay. She writes down, quote, that is House... Macrala's uh, campaign. And it is assisted apparently by House Rofir. The matron of the house is on location. The matriarch. <clears throat> and um, she, her goal, as far as she knows, is to confirms that the target is not the Duke. It's the son. Or at least her job is to wed the son. Or to uh, romance the son, she says. She writes. And uh, gain his favor so that when his father dies and he inherits she will be able to step in as the uh, significant other there so uh, the king's con uh, the queen's consort essentially or the uh, duchess consort I guess you could say and essentially that's uh, all she really knows about that she uh, it's not her campaign uh, she does okay do you see nope okay so uh, what was your question um, does she know who the matron is impersonating uh, no. All she knows is she uh, inserted herself, uh, she's uh, positioned herself to be somebody to uh, to romance him, so to try to get it to wed him. Okay. Um, I take out the map again, and I look to the guards and kind of give them a signal to be ready. Mm -hmm. And have her point to where the other birthings are happening. All right. And we'll go to the map layer now. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. All right. The Burfins. There's Burfins. There's Burfins. There's Burfins everywhere. Okay. <clears throat> one in Lorcan. She points to Lorcan. She points 
to let me check. To Marby. To Vogel. And then she points. She looks for a moment. And then she points to the northern western mountains of the Sorkin Mountains. No. Um, just so you know, my map did have Steinbert Mausoleum on it. Oh, then she points to that. Okay. Because remember, I went there. Mm -hmm. So, I would have had it mapped out so I could get there. Okay. And then I'll have her write down any details she knows about each place. And that'll be it. Okay. Uh, she does like, not know any details okay. about that, so if you want to ask something else. Um, uh, just type these down so I can... Let's see, is there anything else? Don't want to do too much more. I'll have her point out entrances to the dark Darklands. Points to Jaw. She points to Steinbart's mausoleum. She points to Swallowfeld. She points to three different places here. And she points. Let me check. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I'm guessing Falcon's hollow. Uh, oh yeah, Falcon's hollow. She does point there too. Um, okay. But no, there was what another the place, and I'm trying to think where the hell. Hold on. Pelerin. On the Pelagir, excuse me. Uh, no, she does not point there. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't know about that one, Kutch. Oh. Okay, yeah. And she points to uh, over here. In the middle of the northern Nephelin forest. Okay. Okay. Knock this down. Put that in the notes. Okay. Right. And is that that and point? Yeah, we bound her up. Guards, bind her up, and take her back. I say, if you want to interrogate her any more than that, you're going to have to uh, wait, and uh, you're reclassifying her as a, a super-duper high-risk prisoner. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they're going to have to do very formal interrogation. So if there's any information you want, you'll have to write a uh, requisition for information and have the uh, formal interrogation team uh, try to get the information for you. Yep. Okay, there we go. Uh, go to Ulysses' office and see if he's in. Okay. Fake Keeper. One die, 100. You got a 20% chance. Unfortunately, he's not. What about Wallon? Fake Gaber, 1 out of 100. You got a 90% chance. <laughs> Time to roll the 1. <laughs> okay. Well, on's there. Tells you to come in. Have a seat. What can he do you for? 
and I give him this information I just learned. Okay. Show him the map so he can mark it on another map somewhere. And he can send it off to whoever needs to get it. He thanks you. He catalogs everything. And he uh, puts your name down to make sure you get uh, all the credit and the flack for this information. No, I'll, I'll tell him to uh, put Solon's name down too. Okay. Or ask ask him to. I won't tell him to. That's the wrong way to put it. Yeah, he will. Sure. Solon's staying there with, <laughs> like, just thinking... Yeah, it figures that he wouldn't try. <laughs> um, and then... Uh, I want to go to... Does Alaria know where Delilah's quarters are? I don't think she does. Who's in Delilah's? Because I need to tell her, update her about stuff. Let's see. NPCs. You can do someone else while I look this up. Anybody else want to do anything before the uh, festivities? I think we covered everybody's what they were going to do. But if you have something new, you can throw it in there. Did I ever learn where Castia's Cabal is? Cabal Quarters? Uh, I don't believe so. Hello? I'm going to do a diplomacy check to find out. Necro, Tucker, anybody? You guys ready? Hello? Uh, I think Necro went to go get cake. Don't know what happened to Uncle. I'm right here. Be here. Oh, okay. I was trying to ask a question. I just forgot. I thought no one was talking. <laughs> we weren't. You just, but... you, you... Okay. Uh, one quick question. Did I, do I know where Castian's quarters are? I th no. I'm not certain. Okay. Um, I, don't know. I want to do a pass to the library looking for Castian or Delilah. And just, if I see them, I see them. If I don't, I don't. I'm not going to go searching for them. Um, you don't want to do a diplomacy check to find them? Um, I guess I will, but I'm doing it quick. Like, I okay, imagine this time of the day, there's not a lot of time left, so... Okay. It's going to take a while to get everyone back and stuff. And does anybody else have anything they wanted to do? Uh, I think we covered everything you declared, but if there's anything else you want, let me know. Okay. You do find Delilah's quarters. Uh, you get referred okay. to them. It's not hard. Everybody, every uh, male student knows where Delilah is. I'm sure, yeah. Paddock and, is um, selling roadmaps. Yeah. Paddock um, is in jail. He's still selling. Yeah, he has proxies. <laughs> um, I just tell her that um, it's not sure when, at least I don't think it's sure when that the birthing is happening, and I tell her that it's the city next door, Marwin, I think it is. Marby? At least the, Marby, yeah, that's the newest information. I tell her that, so maybe she'll be a little less frantic about the information she's learned. Okay. She said, uh, she thanks you and says that, uh, you know, she'll send ho uh, information home, uh, some advice to them so that they can hopefully prepare for that. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Shopping commences and finishes. Kurtal is suited up in something fanciful. He is suited up in a fucking salmon suit. It's beautiful with tails. One large fishtail. Why not red snapper suit? Red snapper. Because every time a guy said that when I walked in, I'd leave. Right. And uh, um, So Sapunya advised me to wear a, suit, a salmon suit. <laughs> <laughs> Sapunya advised you... To wear the royal out, outfit of your people, a butcher's apron. No. Uh, I'm pretty sure Sapunia doesn't even know I'm Pyrenees. <laughs> You're not. You're Rathaminian. Rathaminian. You got that one. All right. Uh, no, she just uh, helps you pick out a nice, uh, nice noble outfit. 75 gold. This will do. It's got to work. It's 75 gold. Yeah. Uh, she does give I you. Mean, a, she does give you. She does give you. Oh my. A fucking. Uh, a little fucking. Uh, oh, I forget the name of the hat. Oh, one of those uh, little fucking boat-shaped hats. The a little trilby. Rush, 
their little Russian. Uh, oh, 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 uh, oh! Not the oh, ones with yeah. the ear flaps, but the the long the the. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, kind of like a navy hat, sort of. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's gives, the same big shape. Yep, she gives you one of those with a feather in it. <laughs> nice. So you look fine and dandy with your feather. Is it like pushed slightly too far forward to make you look swag? Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'd believe it. He, in fact, he's so swag, he put his head on backwards and the feather's coming forward. <laughs> okay. Uh, Katrina shops until she drops with uh, Roland's money pouch. Roland, you've lost 876 no. gold. Okay, no. See, because I asked her how much money she needed, and you never gave me an answer. 200 gold. Well, he would have he would, he would have given her whatever she asked for, but fine, 200 gold. Okay. <laughs> All right. She asked for the money pouch. No, he ain't that stupid. She has to ask for an amount. She just said, count money. <laughs> you bitch, you bitch, how much money you want. <laughs> All right. Bitch, yeah. you guessed it. That's right. Who? All right. Roland learns to dance. He studies spells, all that fun shit. Everybody finishes their stuff. And then everybody returns back to the dragon's nest in Shitholdyville. Whoops. I don't need down here. I just need Lyriel. Or uh, Shady Bower. Shady Bower. Okay. Everybody returns here. Um, at the end of the day, and everybody, uh, goes to sleep. Okay. Next day, everybody wakes up. One day passes. Okay. Okay. Next day, everybody gets ready for the bowl. Well, the festivities. Abby gets dressed up. Katrina spends four hours doing her makeup. Can, and her can, hair. Can, can she do Rollins too? Mm -hmm. He wants to make an yes, impression. Yes, she's do your beard and everything, and Zeta just stares at you as she's working on your beard. <sighs> oh, come on. Well, and he, you then know, she what? turns and starts working on Dunstan's beard. Yep. Um... Jokes on her. Oh, it makes yourself look nice. I got 99 problems, and the bitch is two of them. <laughs> <laughs> two and a half. The monkey counts for like three. Dunson counts for three on his own. <laughs> hey. So, Uncle. Yes. If I got a spell that was a save or die, would you count that as evil? No. Good. Because it, cause it doesn't, so I'm glad you don't. Well, well, yeah, Kertal has, uh, has the, uh, what's the thing called? The illusion spell. I don't think Power Would Kill is even, I think that's not even evil, Power Would Kill. Well, this, this is, this. The effect usually isn't what makes it evil, it's usually the method. Usually. Yeah. If, if you just kill someone, it's, it's not necessarily evil. Also, I have a evil. spell <laughs> later I want to talk to you about, because I can't figure it the fuck out, and I need you to help me. All right, well, send me a link or something. Or is it a new yeah, spell? it's not evil. No, it's not a new one. Okay, so send me a link to it. Okay. It's weird as shit. It's, you have to go through like okay. ten different fucking links to get to it. So, you guys dress up. Get all ready, fanciful. <clears throat> Tucker. Suddenly, yes. you, as you guys get all dressed up and dolled up to go to the ball, you realize you never asked Cedar if she wanted to go. Yeah, and, I assumed she was gonna come. And she has nothing to wear. She. Oh. You could well, give her diplomacy the diplomacy check to save your relationship. Why he assumed she was going to go? Dunson's about to fucking punch you in the nuts. <laughs> he has nothing to wear either. <laughs> Two diplomacy checks. One to save your relationship. One to save your nuts. Go. Uh, 
God damn it. Can Any fucking assist, day, like sweetheart. Best, I'm trying. Like the oh, best shit. goddamn wingman there is. <laughs> shit, Honey. Roland doesn't even need the assist. Roland comes up to her. All right, just slips her ha- his hands around her waist. <clears throat> you thought you needed an invitation? Well, yeah. No, you're with me. Aiden winked a little bit. Just lay on the charm. <laughs> but this is a cabal thing, you know? So, you know, I was just thinking. He drugged. It's family. Dunstan smiles and nods. Thank you for inviting Dunstan. Okay. Charm. Unfortunately, you still take a reputation hit for the fact that she has nothing to wear. She does not have nice clothes. Um, if Elaria and, and eventually hears about this, she'll offer her the pretty dress she had from before. It's probably going to be a little bit she long on her. Nice clothes. I've taken your shopping before. She, she doesn't like bring nice them with her. Clothes. She no. doesn't like nice clothes. I don't just <laughs> like nice clothes. Doesn't mean she hasn't bought any. Yeah, it does. Nope, she's wearing hand-me-down pants from Pud. Yeah, this is a. I think this dress was. Are you kidding me, dude? That dude, that pin- fifty gold. So it's, it's not the best, but it's good. Um, can't you just use your sleeves with her? Uh, fortunately, yes, I can. Uh, you cannot. Uh, that would uh, not fit her. Your fucking and, uh, Amazon. Yeah. Okay. You know she's well, like. Hold, hold up, Too Uncle. This pretty me. dress was one that Nathaniel gave me. So it's probably fairly short. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Uncle, can't she can't she just wear my, my sleeves of many garments? <laughs> Since <laughs> she, she is only technically she is four inches taller than me. These would fit. Okay. Uh well first off, sleeve of many garments. What happens when the anti magic circle kicks in? She becomes naked. Revert. No, it wouldn't become <laughs> naked. It would revert back to normal clothes. She goes to an all natural, like a dude. No, should. she wouldn't go naked. All right, what's Dunstan wear? Dunstan's gonna wear a large dress. Listen, don't, don't you you give me a, 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 rep, a rep hit. I get it because he didn't plan ahead. Uncle, but I have a pretty dress us. and I have a long yeah. dress. Long dress wouldn't work. I know that. Bitch, bitch, you're you're almost as tall as Son as she ain't wearing none of your shit. Okay. <laughs> well, the pretty dress I think is like yeah. knee height, so it'll be like ankle height than her. <laughs> Did anybody oh, invite Zapunia? She's cabal. She's coming. No, she don't want to. Well, she wasn't invited. Normally, she doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> okay. She goes. Who the defense. fuck's gonna watch our dragons? I wasn't here. And also that. Yeah, I wasn't here for any of the Spoonie relationship. Yeah. I don't know. So, I don't know. Roland, as things uh, escalate, uh, not bad. It doesn't escalate. Actually, you diffuse it quite steadily. But uh, as everybody prepares to leave is what I meant to say. Okay. Good. I was about um, to say, I like I rolled, I rolled that. That should be fine. Where Zita essentially decided she's not going to go because she's got nothing to wear. But she's not as quite as mad Dude, as she was. I before. have the sleeves. She could come. She... <laughs> She didn't look like whatever she she looked like. The uh, she might dish. do that. She's considering that. Uh, in fact, all right. all right, she's agreed to do that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you are saved by the fact that uh, Katrina actually got a dress for Zita. Hey, it's my money. It's my money, which means I thought of it, kind of. Okay. No, it's fine. not at all. Yes. No. I, I, it's, uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, mm-hmm. Now the only one that's going to be going naked is uh, Dunstan, and he's all right with that. And Shooter Kane. So let's yeah. try to put a bow on his ass, and he's mad. No, no, it. she's she's got some clothes for Sugar Kane. What does she have for Sugar Kane? She's got a bow tie and a cummerbund. That's a cummerbund. Oh, oh, he when you wear that. a tux, <laughs> it's the uh, wide sash that goes around your midsection. Yeah, I, I reckon. Oh, he's got me mad. <laughs> yep. Bitch. Yeah. So, uh, all right. Everybody dresses up. Uh, Zena quickly, Zena quickly washes Dunson. 
Dunstan quickly washes himself, but only in the sensitive areas. And then uh, everybody gets stressed. And uh, I'm assuming you guys are teleporting to Lyriel. Yeah. Um, before we leave, I'm going to put Snowfall on the eggs and make sure everything has ample magic for the day. Okay. I'll be roadcasting that while they're doing this getting ready stuff. Because okay. Larry's getting ready is clean face, comb hair, Oof. put on dress. <laughs> You're a mean one. So Spoonia's going to stay there. Anybody else leaving? Do you want Lirio, uh, Lialda to go or stay? She can come. Anyone can come. Anyone's invited. Everyone. We invited. have to have someone watch the eggs. We yeah. keep forgetting that. And we the, have the, and the kids. little goblin children. The we have the kids to watch. <laughs> you can always ask Say Watt. that again with a straight face. You can always ask Watt to watch them. I mean, yeah, but... That's a... No, she I killed mean, them. You can't do the magics. Okay, the big thing we want to think is, do we want to leave anyone here to guard the eggs because of one fact, and that is the drow know we're here. I'm, I'm imagining we go back and forth a bit. Yep, okay. So Sapenia's there. Alright. That was good. Alright. Everybody else goes. You got a dress for chill. Alright, grab these fucking uh, tokens up. I got, I got my hammer. I'm a proper dwarf noble. And poof. Uh, yeah, Kurtal would have shrunk down Roland's uh, bag of holding, like I was talking about, so that way we have oh, yeah. available. So it's not going to walk in, in my backpacks. pocket. I'll keep it in my pocket. You're mean one. I'm already a dwarf, so it'll be fine if I look tubby. All right. Put all the Harpo flasks Dude, it's about there. the size of a marble. Oh yeah, do hey. you uh, hand out the Harper Flask to individuals, or are you just keeping them all in one big bag? Individual. Okay. And what all are you taking with you? If you are not taking everything with you that you normally have, you need to let me know. Solon is not carrying a Harpo Flask. Okay. Uh, Laurie put hers in the bag. The only, the only thing from my wizard robes I have on is my Zodesian. Shepherd cloak thingy. Mm -hmm. I've got my basic magic items with me. If they're not on, like my armor and stuff, then it's um in the bag of holding. But like, um, <coughs> bed rolls and stuff, I don't have. Before okay. we even go, Solon's major armor up. Books. Okay. Solon, Same. as a general rule, is always mage armored. Yeah. It's part of the morning ritual. Yeah, I might as well. Actually, because mm. this might get ugly. Okay, don't forget to uh, heal anybody that needs to heal for that night. Uh, well, you except sure for Laria, I just did. Except for Laria, it's uh, full rest. I'm already healed. <clears throat> but yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Laria okay. and Solon, but everybody else I'm pretty sure is just... Uh, um, Katal's gonna go over to Katrina and ask her to make sure she wears that her noble's vigilant pillbox. Why the hell did I not bring Zeta and Dunstan? You tell who to wear it, bring that, Katrina? You didn't invite them, uncle. <laughs> <laughs> what now? No, <laughs> Katal's gonna tell Katrina to make sure that she is wearing her vigilant pillbox. Okay. Especially if she happens to pass by the food or is standing next to the, uh, the migrant son or is the duke's son? The uh, Duke. The Duke's Duke son. Here. The Duke and Duke's son. Prince. Yeah, remember, yep. this is not part. Don't make the mistake and say that Lyriel is part of Warball. That'll, that'll not win you favors. No, I'm just making sure that I got it right. Yeah, especially if she's near the Duke's son or the Duke himself. Make sure that she is. He'll make. He'll say, make sure that you're looking at that last pearl because if there's any kind of um, harmful I'll, poison, it yeah. will change. Right. You know, I'll, I'll let everyone know what I found out in the interrogation that the plan that the drow are planning here is not necessarily to kill the duke, it's to just marry off his son. But things may have changed since, you know, we've stopped a lot of their plans already. You're fucking I wouldn't things say a up. Lot. I wouldn't say a lot, but a few. Oh, I forgot really? to throw this out. Anyway, alright, here's the city handout. I forgot to fill that out again. But anybody wants it, <laughs> you do have the basic... Uh, Population. I think that's accurate. I'm gonna go to the bathroom I... before we get fancy. Okay. 
I think I've used this map before. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Probably. Okay. Not all that is accurate, though. I know I, religion is pretty much all but all free, liberated, and uh, oh. I don't think that's accurate at all. So. Uh, this is from a 3.5 adventure, I think. Okay. Uh, it's a very to... large city. Everybody hasn't been here before. Tucker's not here, so uh, you just fucking sit here and put on my goddamn phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm realized... sitting here with cake. Freaking Alari looks decked out with fucking chains. She's got her damn ruby necklace, her freaking locket from Zodius Vane, and the fucking tongues. Is she pocket. actually wearing the necklace finally? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Hold on, I don't guys. know. There are bonuses is. we need to calculate. <laughs> All right. You put on the necklace. We'll save. No, just kidding. You already had it on before. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'd believe it will save. You guys see Ilaria pull out. Anybody that fucking has a praise gets fucking an auto roll. I rolled a one on it, so I'm like, yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me go over to her top. This shit that she is wearing is fucking uh, well above nobility class. It's royalty class. Oh, well, hopefully someone will tell me. <laughs> they probably won't, which is fine. Uh, Does anyone realize that in the party? <laughs> Our praise checks to find out. Alaria doesn't. <laughs> That's a nice necklace there, Alaria. Let me tell you what. There's some shiny <laughs> rocks. Oh, those are can some you big roll. All right, you guys. Can you roll for uh, Roland? Mm-hmm. I'm back. What happened? Uh, We're just that? realizing that... Oh. Alaria pulls out this fucking... Uh, she is wearing this fucking... Delarius is <laughs> wearing this fucking it for a second. Uh, fanciful necklace. Jesus and, Christ. Uh, you can appraise to try to identify it. Okay. All right. Well, nobody. Everyone's. Hey, I got a 15. At least. Or a okay. 16, rather. Uh, actually, you know what? I should just give it to you, right? So ten, if you're 10 or higher, it is obvious hey. that this is a nobility class or better. If you're 15 or higher. You're figuring this thing is easily royalty class, and it's probably well over. Your best guess at fifteen or above, is it's over twenty five thousand gold. Easy. What's this necklace worth, huh? You see that mountain over there? What you mean I can buy property? No, I mean the mountain. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, Trina should get a fucking double check for jewelry, but okay. Alaria, dear, you're a bit overdressed. What? What do you mean? Ronald, Ronald would just give a very low whistle. Well, I think... <laughs> no, I think I think little Roland just got excited by that necklace. Roland's got a chub. Roland's a... got a chub. <laughs> Alright, that's creepy. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well... Should I not, um, is it too much? I don't, it's it's I don't not realize. too much. Oh, I don't think wonderful. my I don't think I've ever even seen my mother wear something that much. It's a little too much, dear. I didn't I realize. I think it's beautiful. You should wear it. I drink. Oh, it's very nice. It but... Since motive on Katrina. <laughs> it's gonna send a message. <laughs> uh, tell, Katrina's being genuine. Okay. So no no glimmer of recognition. Huh. Recognition? Nope. As far as you can tell... Don't worry about it. As far as you can tell, there is no uh, recognition there. Okay, good. <laughs> recognition! Oh, good lord. And we walk on. Okay, I then. think this is what she got in that threesome. With Katrina's <laughs> no, parents. You guys don't know about that. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, the third one or like the fifth one? How Can't many threesomes have you though. had with Katrina's fucking parents? <laughs> One. It's not with Katrina's fucking parents, it's fucking Katrina's parents. <laughs> okay. So, uh, only, only the one. Only the one. Uh, Lirio is uh, an almost all stone city. Uh, even the poorer sections of the town are just made from poor stone. Everything's here is fucking stone. The streets, most of the streets are cobbled. Though a lot of them have runoffs and side streets and uh, little areas where there is little strips of grass and soil. Uh, a lot of it is multi-story. Everything is at least two stories. A, lot, a half is probably three stories, at least. 
In the very center of town, you can see from way outside, is a giant pillar. New, mucho stories high with a brilliant bright light at the top that is visible even in the daylight. There's also, of course, the, the, the Duke's Palace, which is also very tall as well. Okay. You think they're compensating for something? Uh, the Alder will uh, laugh at that one. She thinks she finds that funny. Hey. Okay. So you guys go into town. You get to the center section. For those you want here, this is a huge uh, promenade, market, bazaar type thing. Stalls are set up inside uh, these buildings. And then also inside the open areas and the rings and people just migrate in and out. It's it's like Pike Street if you've ever been there. It's beautiful. And uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of people congregating in front of this big place and going up and down. And uh, all sorts of things like that. A <clears throat> uh, few guards everywhere. and uh, But otherwise, uh, it's a fairly densely populated town. Quite densely. <clears throat> there is, however, you notice uh, a lot of nice things. Uh, there's decorations on a lot of the buildings. Uh, fresh flowers have been strung across uh, the whole inner ring here. And there's a, a whole uh, row of uh, along the street of uh, <clears throat> of uh, flower petals. The whole way leading towards the Duke's Palace. I think that they have some money to spend here. <laughs> hey. uh, do you guys immediately go to the Duke's Palace? Um, can I do a perception to see what the vibe is of the city? Just sort of peek at what's going on? Sure. Sure you can. Sure. Do, uh, you can do knowledge local, or you can try to sense motive. Can I do a perception to see if there's any drow wreaking havoc? Sure you can. Sure. <laughs> well, we might get this, we, yeah. we might get this summed up faster than we think. Alright. I am a drow and I'm wreaking havoc. <laughs> okay. Solid, you do not see any drow. Any Kratol. Alaria. <laughs> you believe that, uh... uh... Why the hell do you keep rolling sense motive? The first one was to see if I, uh... Saw any sign of recognition in Katrina's eyes when she was looking at... Alaria's necklace. Too late, that moment has passed. And, and you didn't know about there being any possible recognition, so... Oh, wait, so the original 23... Yeah, you yeah. wouldn't have known. All right. So the 10 was... So that was a botch save. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. So uh, you have no fucking idea about the pulse of the city. As far as you can tell, this shit's busy, and they are fucking super excited. This is like Mardi Gras, people! Okay. I'm sense motive. I'm looking around this area to look for other people look like they're going to the ball to see if they're buying shit or if it's only merchants here. Okay. One thing you recognize, Laria, with your sense motive is that... Uh, the place does look rambunctious, but not necessarily more so than before. The, at least in this area, the bazaar is always, uh, well, not necessarily rambunctious, but very uh, popular and uh, mm -hmm. energetic. And um, but you do notice uh, any uh, <coughs> that uh, there seems to be a few more nicely dressed people. In fact, you see a couple of people who are very nicely dressed. Okay, then I'll kind of say to the rest of them. Perhaps we should uh, shop around. That looks like possibly that's the custom. I don't know. Let's just buy some food or something. Why like shrugs? She doesn't fucking understand. Okay. <laughs> all just, could all just be like, or it could just be that they're early or want to show up fashionably late. Whatever nobles do. Did you tell Poogie to be uh, wear the hat? No. Did do they know? I think they know already, right? Yeah, they know already. All you right. visited the dude while she was in normal form. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So she's so happy. She's like, "Hi, I'm a Poogie." Let's just say that we have Poogie riding on Sullen's back, so we don't lose her. <laughs> Is Sullen wearing the hat? Which hat? The one that makes you a small little human child. <laughs> Not <at> all. <laughs> Sullen's walking work in so bad drow and shoulders. proud. You're not even drow. Drider-ish. He's sort of drow. He's Walking drow. in drider. It's, it's the same difference. Yeah. Yeah. He's just a drow. Up until the torso. <laughs> six additional legs. Okay. All right. So then everybody points at you <laughs> and like, ew. <laughs> and then fucking Dunstan just starts flipping him the bird. 
Fuck I'm all of, you people. <laughs> Sullen nods approvingly. I'm glad of any sign language that Johnson has learned. That is what he knows the most <laughs> easily. Yeah. All right, he so doesn't you guys learn shop languages. around a little bit. And I'm like, wait a second, guys. We should probably bring a present, shouldn't we? Um, anybody have a nobility <laughs> to make a nobility check? Because uh, nobody I researched. I will. La, da, da, da. Wow. Mine is untrained, but I'm trying to think of it, so I'll roll it. Yay, Kratal is currently purchasing a bag of cinnamon almonds, and he's just going to go like, I already have something if we want to use it. My noble. I don't think they want cinnamon almonds, Kratal. No, oh, I have, um... And then tanker. I have, uh... That bag of gems that I have yet to sell. I keep it mm -hmm. on me in case I want to trade for anything. <laughs> I just carry around a bag of gems in case I got anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Roland. What? I was... Okay. And Poogie Carry says, on. I know what we should get. We're not getting a camel. No. We don't need a camel. Why would you give him a camel? I don't know. Maybe I just want to get rid of Dover. Once and for all. And Kertal looks away wistfully. <laughs> we gotta Jesus. bring Dover up here. I think y'all like the cold weather. He's Even more me. wistful. Uh, and then she says, okay. What we need to do is we need to get them each a, uh, a pig shoe. What's Can that? you elaborate on that poogie? <laughs> Please. Huh? It's the shoes they put on pigs. Oh. Hmm. What? That's not a terrible idea. I start looking around for um, stuff that looks like it might be for hogs, like they, they'll be used to either groom or... Okay. Katrina confirms it and says that that would actually be a very good gift. Yeah, so I'm going to start looking around for someone that sells accessories for pigs. Okay, well, you go to the... Uh, and treats as well. There's uh, somebody there that... Uh, it's a young boy, probably 10, 11 years old, who's working on behalf of the blacksmith in town, selling nuts and bolts and horseshoes and pig shoes. Uh, <clears throat> Katrina suggests getting a pair, uh, two pair actually, that have been uh, pressed together in the center, uh, which is a sign of, uh, it's, it's a romantic gesture and a sign of good fertility. Okay. <clears throat> and, uh, Okay. So uh, they're like, all right, sure. And then the kid's like, uh, all right, let me go get this shit and fucking run it back there. All right. They're very happy. Very, very happy. Uh, is there someone that sells, like, treats for pigs? Is that a thing? Around. <laughs> There's a guy with like a bucket of garbage. treats, not just, not just, like, slop. Like, special stuff that you give them oh, and yeah. they've been good. There's a whole bunch of, uh, like that, yep. Okay, so I'll go to one of those and get like a nice gift basket of them, okay. of it. All right. Um. All right. They have a nice, uh, yeah, they have a nice little uh, w a wicker basket of uh, of pig treats. Cool. Four pigs, not for you. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. Um, and I confirm for you know the the big ones. <laughs> Uh, fancy pig comb, okay. Alright, so the pig shoes are going to be uh, five silver to have them fused together. That's paying for the service to have them fused together, rush order as well. Okay, uh, the pig treats are uh, how, qual how high quality do you want? As high as possible without, you know, like a hundred gold worth. Alright, five working. golds worth of pig treatas. Cool. That's like one portion of the gift. Okay. And then we want a fancy pig comb. Well, they don't have a fancy pig comb. What they have is they have an entire 
pig body caretaker and supply kit. Let's do it. Yeah. They got some essential oils. They got some brushes. And they got some rollers for rubbing down the little piggy back. Let's do it. I'm going to massage that motherfucker, but he is delicious. And then after we get all this stuff, I'm like, does the prince and king have, do they have hogs? I uh, <laughs> <laughs> say, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, it's good to have backup. Uh, can this re-gift. might be an odd gift to give somebody that doesn't have any pigs, but uh, here, give him I'm the pig look- treats. Yeah. I mean, it's it's gonna be part of the package. I'm gonna look for also now, um, <laughs> like jewelry. Pig jewelry. Not pig jewelry, just jewelry for a person. Because I want to give gifts to pig the... jewelry. It's jewelry in the shape of a pig. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like a big golden snap. There is one guy there who is a jeweler. Uh, he's also a gym broker, and he's got four guards sitting around him. Ah, he's actually only got two, but. Um, He's got a really big nose, and he's mm-hmm. half dwarf. Of course. Uh, it's also white. What's he got? One like a good quality. He's got gems and settings. Nothing already put together. <clears throat> a few things put together, yeah. Uh, so you have a, yeah, you have a little selection of things. So some are with precious gems. Uh, the really expensive things are actually the less common things that are actually put together. Usually, those things are ordered. Uh, the lower quality stuff is going to be mostly be already put together. Okay. Um, how long does you think it'll take him to make something? Uh, uh, to put something together, depending on how big it is or how intricate, uh, just two to three days, so he can rush it if you really need it. Oh, maybe not. I was looking for a gift for today. Thank you, though. I'll look over his gems real quick before I leave. Okay. Let me just have a look at your gems, see if there's anything that catches uh, my eye. He has a lot of uh, decent quality gems. It uh, goes up in the uh, cost quite a bit, but uh, lower quality jewelry uh, goes up to... Uh, he's got uh, ready-made available up to 100 gold in value. So he mm. does have uh, lower nobility quality jewelry. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll go ahead and pay the hundred gold for that, just so I. All right. So you got some jewelry, got some pig supplies, pig treats, and a pig uh, spa kit, and uh, the two horse yeah, but... pairs of uh, entwined horseshoes. All right. Very good. You got some nice gifts there. All right, Fake Keeper, one dot twenty, please, and a one dot two. Fade Keeper. Fade Keeper. Oh my god. Don't worry, guys. God. Nailed it. <laughs> Fucking nailed it. Oh my god. I've been waiting for the double ones for so long, I don't know what to do. Handy sticks landing. To be fair, the D2 had a 50 50 shot, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Yes, yes. Hit us with it. I love it. I love it so hard, it makes my nipples hard. Okay. Oh my god, we got a whole goodie bag of evil things to do. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, one die three. That's the goodie bag. <laughs> it's, a, it's a two. That's a D two, bro. It's a D two. Oh, you asked for a D two, didn't you? No, it's a D three. Oh, sorry. Although I don't know if this is better or worse to get a low number. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's a three. You know, Uncle Fuck. Yes. <laughs> yes. Suddenly the trash. Oh, trust. the power! <laughs> Suddenly the trash, and rocks fall and everyone dies. Oh no! <laughs> it's the, worse than that. Gravity reverses. Well, I guess this is life now. <laughs> okay, we, 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 we all prepare to fly, right? 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 <laughs> okay. Probably not. Right? <laughs> I haven't mentioned door. 
I got fly. I'm not stupid. Okay. You can't dimension door away from gravity. Could everybody please do a uh, perception check? Time to be the only person to see something. Yep. I'm for all and be the only person to not see something. Except eat my dick. <laughs> okay. You know how I can get a 19? On a 2. Okay. How are you? Alright, so what I need to know right now is uh, how sh close together are you guys? Are you guys uh, shopping? Uh, how close? Um, Fuck all of you. Probably within two stalls of each other, I'd say. Okay. Well, how far away are is the is the what was the last place you went to the jewel store? How far would the jewel store be from the pet or pig supply company? It would be a ways away. The jewelry guy is not going to pick a spot right next to Oinkville. Yeah, you know, I would have <laughs> so waited for them to get that and then gone over there. Oh, I would have okay. walked off completely alone. Okay. Well, then yeah, Roland Roland would have gotten his his boner a bit harder at the jewelry store. Yeah. Yeah. That's like fucking dwarf it porn right there. It is. Okay. So what I need now, what I need now, we're going to do one more. No, we're not. Fuck the random. I'm just picking this time. <laughs> oh, my nipples are so hard. Disinfitive. Like I hold on. I got to rub them down. Stay down, nipples. Stay down. All right. This is going on YouTube. People are going to comment <laughs> on that. And Kyle comes back just for that. Always happy to come back. Uh, Alright, so someone is trailing behind. Perfect! Thank you! <laughs> I, figured you I figured I'd give you some material, Uncle. Yeah! Okay, Sullen. Everybody else is shopping. Hmm? Everybody, everybody else is shopping. Everybody else is having fun. Kids are pointing at you, and they're like, "Oh, it's a spider! Kill it!" Yeah, no shit. Congratulations, you know what <laughs> a spider is. Actually, you don't, because I'm not a spider. But <laughs> exactly. whatever. Yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> Sullen, uh. Your perception check has caught you something very impressive. Oh, you notice three things. It's a lot more than he usually does. Way over there by the pig roasting in the store, or the pig snacking store. The snacks for pigs, not the pig snacks. Indeed. Where are the pig snacks at? You see something over there. You see? Uh, over here. That's where Dunstan's at. He's fucking got his head in the trough. <laughs> Beside Dunson or near Dunson, about five, six feet away, you notice that there is an orange tabby skulking up to the stall, looking like it's going to get some meat. You also notice something way over here. <coughs> this, this is very interesting. This is over. At a set of stalls or around a set of stalls where there is uh, fresh fruits and vegetables uh, and several merchants side by side, three or four of them, that are selling uh, fresh produce, essentially. And standing there, you see the stature of a man so big that, uh, well, you're quite surprised that it's a man. He's as tall as you are, easily. And uh, he dwarfs Alaria, easily. Uh, you only see his back, though, because he's in robes. Uh, so you can't actually figure out what he is, but his stature alone seems inhuman, absolutely. And he kind of stands out. And, uh... <clears throat> you see him, uh... <clears throat> at one point, turn around, and what was your perception? 23. 23, yeah. Yeah. And you notice people uh, move away from him, though. Uh, one of, there is a little kid that's following him around, it seems to be. Uh, just tagging about five feet behind him. And uh, every once in a while, he'll come a little closer. He's only about six or seven. But otherwise, he stays away. And this guy, he's a, he looks like a... He looks like a rogue wizard. Why? Well, some type of wizard. Why does he look like a wizard? Because he's wearing... 
brown robes. And he's got a staff made of wood. God damn it. Or he could just be an old man. <laughs> a freakishly large old man. Don't let the name fool you, my friends. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit! <laughs> no! <laughs> Blood belly, fuck you! <laughs> like alligator hide. <laughs> If Solon, if Solon, what's the third thing I see? I don't know. This guy looks like he takes up two of them. <laughs> no. No, but yeah, Solon, Solon will be keeping an eye on him if he thinks A could be a wizard, B potential threat. And then it's at the last moment. Actually, wait. Where did you roll perception? Twenty-three. Uh, yes, that is high enough. Okay, so the last moment when you notice something, who uh, is the closest to Sullen? Oh, Sullen, I will let the... you choose. Probably he's he's hanging to the back. He'd probably be close-ish to Lialda because I figure Lialda's probably not super thrilled about going around shopping for little shit either. Uh, you can pick two more people if you want. Uh, you don't have to. Depends how close you're sticking with him. Uh, he'd probably be hanging back talking to Lialda, and maybe, like, Kertal's nearer as well. Is Poogie still on your back? Oh, yeah, and Poogie's still on my back, probably. Oh unless, my well, God. No, no, yeah, I, I was gonna say, unless she got off, but no, Solon's supposed to be keeping an eye on her, so she's hanging out with him. Alright, so Poogie's he's... there, so I'm gonna do a perception check for Poogster. Poogie! What does your goblin I see? Fucking oh, nothing! shit! <laughs> oh my I God, don't I haven't shit. left that hard in fucking forever. I couldn't... <laughs> I couldn't move my face. <laughs> you piece of shit. Why, why only nine feet tall? That's garbage. You have to pump up those numbers. Because he's a half ogre, not a full ogre. Also, why does he look like he's going Super Saiyan? Because he might be. He might be. Because he <laughs> Bitch, radiates. He might be. Well, because he radiates an aura of onion. Indeed. Okay. But there's no swamp. Okay. And, um. <laughs> So you're taking this back, pass on talking top of to Lealda. So you see that to the left. You see that to the right. It's like, okay. Okay. All right. You got, like, a bunch of wild animals running around in here. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then you notice, well, goddamn, there's another animal. Standing five feet away from you. In fact, staring right at you. It is a little white fox. Yeah. Sullen doesn't know the implication of that. And... You've told him. No, no, no. They have told me. They have mentioned a white fox, and when I, I believe the first I... day he was in the cabal, nobody mentioned him. a white fox to him. We said yeah, white mentioned... animals in general. Yeah, yeah we did. Because I vaguely remember a conversation where somebody said something about, about a white fox. And I'm like, "What's that?" And they're like, "Don't worry about it." Yeah. When you see this white fox. <clears throat> Not only is it sitting calmly, kind of recessed between two crates, uh, just sitting there right between them, so the average person ain't going to see it unless it's straight on. Uh, it's staring right at you with its head kind of cocked to the side, somewhat bemusedly, staring at you. And when you turn and you finally meet it with your eyes, it waits for a second. Its little foxy whiskers, that which are black, kind of wiggle a little bit. And then you see its head give a very intentional nod backward, kind of up into the back, like, come here a minute. What do you do? So, assuming assuming they haven't told me, or maybe they did and I forgot. We did. <laughs> they didn't say anything about a fox. We okay. said white animals. If you see a white animal that acts weird, just walk away. It's a little, like, almost word for word that we fucking told them. In any case, assuming... Assuming either they didn't tell him or he forgot. Um, a, this is a fox that nodded at him. Mm -hmm. B, it's a white fox. That shit ain't normal. Maybe it's Buck's familiar. That's true. Leolda. 
The Yoda will uh, put down the knife she's checking out and walk over. Yes. Do you see... And Solon, Solon hasn't taken eyes off the fox yet. Do you see that fox over there? She'll turn and look at it. Just kind of step around you a bit to get a more direct on look. The fox yeah, will kind of shift its eyes to look at her. Yes. I know. <clears throat> Why would a fox be in here? That's curious. And, uh, That's what I'm did anybody warn Lialda about this? I can't say that one for certain. All right, and Poogie, so. in case Poogie would know, she's sitting on my back right now. Poogie, however, is still oblivious. Okay, that's fair. You know what I There's... want? I want to get some flowers. Where can we giddy up? Take me to a flower merchant. She's just Solon's ignoring Poogie. <laughs> okay, Kurtal, you rolled a twenty-nine. So at any point now, you can notice if you wish that there is uh, an odd interest. Involving these people where they're all kind of congregated together, not doing anything. Yeah, Katal's going to look over at Alaria and also notice there's an tools. ogre giant man near you that might decide to eat you at any moment. Well, nobody else is freaking out or panicking, so Katal's going to assume he's either a giant homeless man or a well-known <laughs> vagrant ogre. <laughs> so Katal's going to come over here and... What are we looking at? Did we find something interesting? <sighs> Yes, there's a white fox, and I believe it nodded at me. Okay, as soon as I... you turn to look at the fox. <laughs> the fox lifts its paw and waves at you. I believe we should go. Why? A fox? I like foxes. And then Poogie, Poogie? look at it. <gasps> it's... Ooh. Shh! Solon, I don't do this often, but I'm pulling rank. We're leaving. I, I mean... Now. The auto will ask, why, what is wrong? I've had poor experiences with a intelligent white fox. Okay. The fox will just sit there, watching. I take it you guys back up or move, or where do you go? Solon's keeping his eyes on it now, because he's a little freaked out. But he'll, talk he'll, to, he'll, he doesn't look Get with the others, pleased. tell everybody to group up. <laughs> and Kurtal's just going to keep an eye on the thing and back up sort of towards where Alaria is. Okay. As you back up, the fox's hind legs stretch and it raises up into a walking posture. And it casually starts walking towards you. Moving generally at the same pace as you are. Weaving through the legs of people right out into the general populace. Kind of following you. Essentially keeping the same distance. <laughs> and then Kratal, when they get to Alaria, Kratal, it's just going to pull the rest of the group together. We need to head to the palace immediately. Or get out of town entirely. <laughs> okay, well, uh, Leota realizes there's something wrong. And uh, she's got her hands on her weapons, but she doesn't do anything. She's just what? ready. Would and anyone in the Cabal care to explain something for once? Okay. Does anybody have, uh... Let's see, I'm trying to think everybody's caster level here. To see if anybody would detect. How concerned is Kratal right now, by the way? His brow is furrowed enough that his third eye is almost entirely closed. Oh my god. <laughs> what a way to describe so it. So wait, you it. look like Marlon Brando? Or <laughs> Kratal, yeah. Kratal, that's how you get wrinkles. Stop it. <laughs> Okay. And no, he's definitely on edge. Like he's got his. He usually keeps his chakra put away. Like that was his plan for this party, but he's got it, like in his hand now. Yeah. Okay. Are you scared? Yeah. Not scared, but cautious. Like hyper vigilant is the word. Okay. All right. So, uh, is anybody got an arcane level of twelve or higher? Katrina, I think is not, the only one, maybe. Not total. <laughs> yeah, nope. Nope. Okay. Not yet. But All he right. says this, and 
This is tense, so I'm gonna summon my weapon to my side, <coughs> put my hand on it, and like. You start crossing the, the middle guys. circle, heading over to them before you reach them. <clears throat> the fox uh, starts to pick up its pace, closing ground with you. It's now kind of at a slight trot, uh, kind of bouncing along as it comes closer, and uh, weaving through the people. And then uh, it's around that time Buck jumps you from behind. Alaria, what's the... Oh. <laughs> How is he jumping if you're behind when I was paying attention in that direction? He was to our other side. side. He's on your side. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> you freak the fuck out for a second, maybe. And then Buck's like, Excuse me. And apparently he just bumped into you. He crosses in front of you, and when he passes, the fox is gone. Instead, you see a woman walking towards you, carrying a basket of fruit, and a brunette woman in common clothes. Yeah, now Kratal is, in a very weird show of defense, is stepping in front of Saul and getting between him and this woman. I think... <laughs> I think with your recent death and a lack of Shut up. powers, Kertal. All right. At that point, you guys are going to reach Sol or Alaria, K K Katrina, and Roland and all them. I Buck. think you're doing less to protect me at this point, Kertal. <laughs> Buck goes this way. Uh, by the time you reach them, another person crosses in front of the woman, and it's just for a split second, Kertal, but you have a very high perception. Even you, however, are fooled by this. Uh, as the person passes... You see uh, behind her suddenly three different women, and each break off in the different directions into the crowd. Am I seeing anything ping with my the invisibility? No. Uh, you uh, just see the three different women. Each look different, but you're fairly certain that none of them were there before your vision was obscured for a split second. Yeah, okay. no, Kratal is visibly grinding his teeth now. Okay. Uh, you approach them, and uh, what do you say to them immediately upon greeting? So a white fox split in, turned into a woman split into three. We either need to move to the palace or get out of here immediately. Uh, let's go to the palace first. Just on the way, can someone please explain this? For context to everyone here, before you think I'm going insane, it waved at me. Alright, yes, now it's yes, like, she's to tell her. Yep. So, we told you about her, damn it. You, you don't remember that's your own fucking fault. No, no. Uncle Rule We you have didn't. told you. Uncle Rule I Rulgy know. Didn't. So, I don't give you. Solon shit for this. Give Uncle shit for this. I know I told you. Uh, well, you, uh, like I said, they didn't tell you about a fox. They, they did tell you about a white animal, but, uh, it's on which your own memory now, even still, though. Yeah, which is why yeah. I talked to. Which, which is why I'm I asked moving, Yalda way. about it. In any case, just because you've yes, mentioned white animals are to be avoided, which, not to mention, entirely racist. You know, I don't really want to scream it out in the middle of all these people right here, Solon. It'll cause a panic. So how about we just keep moving? People are going to panic hearing about white animals and racism? You have to hear about what she is. Well, maybe you should explain it to me. Later. Public. Okay, uh, Katrina's going to start uh, walking. And, yeah, we're already uh, moving. Yep. Yeah, and, we're uh, we take it. everybody moving. Uh, Zeta will uh, grab Dunson's ear and drag him along. And uh, all right, everybody takes off, moving directly with your presence towards the palace. You go past so the barracks where there's a bunch of soldiers. Uh, this is the barracks, and then over here is the, the fancy uh, the pig knights area. I need to just to check here. what this spell does before I use it. And as you approach the place, there is a set of doors with a bunch of flowers going up to it, and there's a person standing there, all dressed up in fucking uh, parade armor, a guard, and uh, he's all fanciful. He's got fucking armor made out of silver and gold, and fucking banners hanging off his goddamn fucking halberd shit. And uh, yeah. well, hello, welcome to the Duke's Palace. Kertal is still looking out on the street, trying to track the women that he saw. Okay. Pleasure. I'll say it. I'll talk to this guy. <coughs> we are Lyceum Wizards. We were invited to come to this ball. 
Yes. We are expecting you. We are honored that you could make it here today. Please, follow me. The Duke has arranged for you to have lodgings. That honor is ours. No. All we do. Hip, hip, hip! <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, again. I'm... Okay. They take you in. They are a bit surprised by how many fucking people you have brought. And so am I. I have enough hors d'oeuvres, sir. And so am I. Poof! You guys are taken up to your rooms. How many fucking people you got? No one poofed. Nothing happened. I'm getting there, fucker. Just chillax a little bit, huh, little fucker? Uh, I think I'm there's ten of us, fucker. including familiar. Holy shit. It's always <laughs> dark. Uh, here. <sighs> they really need to light their castles better here. Or is that a tradition that I'm not aware of? Um, I want to do a check to see if I see that woman. Any you don't know what you're us. looking for. I don't know, I'm just seeing if there's women. <laughs> <laughs> if they're following us, let me. I want to do a check to see if there's women. Go ahead, we'll see if there's any women. I'm looking for okay. women following us. Kurtal, you can do women? a perception to see if any of the women you saw are following you. <laughs> That's probably the dumbest thing I've ever said in my life. Okay. <laughs> well, All right. Well. We got the problem. We've only got eight beds spare. That'll be fine. I don't sleep much. Well, that is just fucking horrible hospitality. Okay. I'm gonna give him a wink after I say I don't sleep much. There you go. Smooth it over. There he's happy. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, they put people in their rooms. Okay. Solon, this is your room. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Alaria, this is your room. <laughs> they sort of look a lot like closed black boxes. <laughs> it's <a> poof. <laughs> oh my god, I'm it's stuck in the box. This bed is way too... This What is this, a it's bed a for ants? Uh, I can barely fit on this thing. What the hell? <laughs> Zia, like, I don't know what you guys are complaining about. This is great. Yeah. Zia's like... Rolla and I are staying in the same bed. Oh, good. Sapuff and Sapuff. What about Katrina? Huh. Um. <laughs> Dunstan comes with you. Uh. Oh, my God. Who... Now there's three people. Let's, get Let's see who Katrina gets paired with. Lealda or Kertal. Okay. Zapuff. 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 Okay. And what I'll do is, I'm going to go ahead and just open on your rooms. Uncle Arya. I'm going to go ahead and just is... open the doors on all your rooms. Uncle? Yeah. This is the wrong shell token. I can't move it. Funky butt loving. I'm just trying to find an escape route. I think I have <laughs> that album. My room. <laughs> so, uh, your guys' doors, we're just going to leave uh, the doors open at all times so you can move as you wish. Wow, I feel bad for you, Larry. You got two doors in your room. Me too. This is a shame. I don't like it. Chill. It's an imposter. Chill is imposting. Okay. Try that. See if that works. That's that. That's the right chill. There we go. All right. So uh, unfortunately, I did forget to light this half of the map. <laughs> Jesus. They keep their castles very dim nowadays. <laughs> I will fix this momentarily. Oh, what, do you, what do you mean it's dark in here? I can see everything fine. Yeah. I was wondering yeah. what everyone was complaining about. <laughs> right. So, so he shows 120 you guys, foot dark vision. He shows you guys to your room and asks if uh, you have any luggage or anything you'd like them to put away for you. I believe all right. All right. Um, and then if you follow me, I'll show you where all the other amenities may be located. Okay. Would anybody like to split up? No. no. Are you sure, Necro? Alright then. 
Solon is a very angry little spider. He's just little bits of fucking web is dribbling out the backside. He's so angry. I like to think that the hallway's too crowded, so he's just gonna start walking along the ceiling. All right, probably. Uh, first off, Roland, where is uh? Do you did you want Katrina in there with you? Um, Katrina takes her in room. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, it's okay, Katrina. Actually, we can be, we can be bunk buddies. Wait, there's enough room. There ain't ten people here, is it? No, there's ten with first, the familiars. Listen, said. listen. Uh, okay. So we got enough for everybody to have their own rooms. So. First rule of nobility is always take what they fucking give you and don't ask for shit. Solon didn't ask for anything. Okay. Exactly. They gave it to you. Don't be a gun. <laughs> Solon's trying to make up for the fact that you're a dick to your wife. <laughs> it's yeah. going to take us a few hours to lock these rooms properly. But what are you talking about? I'll just put some webbing over the door. <laughs> so wait, do you have to clean that up, you realize? Yeah, They're not yeah. gonna appreciate that. Uh, the guy does walk you down. He shows you first off where the bathrooms are, the bath rooms, the bathing rooms, the uh, uh, where the courtyards, how to reach the courtyards for walking around, mm -hmm. uh, uh, where the kitchen is. But uh, of course, you'd be served. Uh, and uh, also, they show you where to get to the uh, the courtroom. Which is where General Assembly and stuff is held. Okay. Uh, these hallways, of course, continue. And, uh, okay. Yeah. Kurtal, why do you have a bunch of buffs on you? Because he has a bunch of buffs on him. Uh, I get fast healing one, <laughs> DR one, and then I have mage armor. And then they bring fast... you back to your rooms. Okay. I get fast healing from my mantle of the Bear King, that chain that he wears around his neck. Okay. Fake Keeper. How about a one die twenty and a one die two, and let's get two can, ones again, please. Can we group everyone up so it doesn't look like we're all over the map? Because I I know we wouldn't be going up by on ah! like this. Oh, damn. Yeah, no, we'd be together. Damn, damn, damn. So close, so far away. So far away. So is anyone going to tell me? Hate that song. Don't 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 do that. I hate Nickelback. Is anyone going to tell me anything about this fox now? Yeah, that's, <sighs> we're so door, far. room with one door over here. I suppose we can tell you. And uh, well, forgive me for being paranoid. I I don't blame anyone for being paranoid. I come from the Darklands. Laura nods. <laughs> <laughs> Comes with the territory, doesn't it? I blame you for not telling me before. <laughs> we did. T t clearly, not enough. If you casually <laughs> mentioned, oh yeah, don't trust any white animals you see. Day one. I mean, that's fairly specific. That's. A Specific as in, hey, don't, don't trust albinos. I told albinos. you what it was, too, vaguely. Let's just get into the room. Get everyone right. in the room, and I'll gesture can... for everyone else down the hall to get in the room. <laughs> All right, everybody squeezes while... into the room. While I agree you did, as far as as far as far game cannons concerned, you didn't. We can scold Solon later. I'll scold and... the shit out of you. I will hold you fucking down. And Roland will shut the door. Uh, but don't unlight it. Please. <laughs> Please don't yeah. light it. It'll make more work. Uh, don't worry. Light will be coming momentarily. No, there's already light. Don't unlight it. I am unlighting this shit as soon as I get light. God damn it! <laughs> so, I suppose... Oh my god. That wasn't an animal, most likely. Well, since it turned into a woman and then three women. Yes. And you're sure? Says There's Katrina. three more women than anyone needs. Katrina says you're sure that it wasn't your imagination. It waved yes. at me, followed us, and then transformed. I just wanted to make sure. I mean, I believe you. I just know if you, you know, saw a white animal, it would be disconcerting regardless. All right, everyone. Before we discuss this, put those bottles in the bag again. That's probably how she tracked us. Files yeah. go in the bag. Okay. Uh, I don't make the bed bigger than yours. Yep. How big are these? There's three inches by. Th oh yeah. It's as big as a marble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I thought that's where we put all the bottles in anyway. People wanted them back out for some stupid reason. 
Solon was happy to keep all of them in extra dimensional spaces at all times because we've made it this far without Harpo, so there's no bloody reason we'll need him at any point in the future. Yeah, there's only been several deaths, but yeah. It's only been two hours. <laughs> Those were temporary. Nah. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Okay. Uh, Poogie and everybody will relinquish there, so go ahead. Yep. We okay. counted that we have all eight. Yeah, every, in there. Yep. Okay. Every, well, now we have a big fucking set. We have the spell again, or are we just stuck with this? I'll carry I have, it. Don't worry about it. I have the spell. Again? I'd like to be prepared. I don't blame you. And then he'll hold it up to be touched and put it back in his pocket. All right, there. Damn. Okay. So. A demon. Solon. Or at least one of her agents. Possibly, yes. All right, Leona will perk up at that. Most likely. It could be... It could be... Catholics, I'll say, to look at... But I don't ever know who to split off into three people. Do we know? She's learned something. Do we know what type of demon? We have a very strong inclination, but to say very, very dangerous would be an understatement. To make a very long and very tiresome story short, on the first walk of the Cabal, and this was before Laurie and Poogie even joined, I and a couple others were responsible for accidentally unleashing the demon from a sealed altar because we thought it was a trapped woman about to be sacrificed. Rowan she... snorts. Meanwhile, Leona Rowan will roll her eyes. <laughs> it wasn't very smart. No, so Laurie didn't in... say that. In trying to help someone, you unleashed a very powerful demon. He was told it was a demon, believe it or not. No, we were told there was a demon in the area. See, gang, this is why we don't help people. Rule number one. <clears throat> Leona will kind of smirk a little bit and ask, was the woman scantily clad? Yes. <laughs> Roland never saw him, so you can shake your fucking face. No, it just looked like, <laughs> she just looked like one of the village women. Uh. I saw her after she turned into a fucking demon. She was pretty stanley clad there, fucking. Yeah, That's after true. she turned into the demon. Uh, she didn't ask when she was stanley clad. That's, that's true. All right, continue, please. That fox wasn't wearing anything. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, that's Such a tease, that fucking fox. Uh, right. <laughs> Carry on. Are you sure? You sure you don't want to go out and talk to the fox? No, it's a mistake, so demons you to the side. Carry on explaining why we shouldn't talk to this demon. We think that she is the deposed queen of the succubi, the Lily Two. She is, or at least was, one of the most powerful demons in what's the realm, Roland? Not Hell, the other one. The Abyss. That's it. Possibly. We she don't know enough conflict. about her. And oh, you let her go? Demon Lord. Yes, because I was going to fight her. You were going to fight the queen of the succubi? We didn't know, they didn't know who it was, obviously, so that's a silly question. It was their first walk. Do you think they just happened to know the deposed queen of an abyssal realm? And the thing is, silly. is that the Lyceum knew it was there, and I'm going to wager part of our walk there was to keep an eye on this thing. Anyway, she likes to keep an eye on whatever catches her interest, and she tends to appear to people as... A white animal. Foxes, cats. I think a Parents. squirrel once. I also Parents. did see a tabby cat. Well, the tabby cat can go eat a dick. I'm talking well, about the white I... fox right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Some animals are specific magic animals, and some are just dick-eating animals. What when if... they wave back at you or not at you, yes. <laughs> Trina will add, add that uh, so far, Solon, the order, she has approached us in the form originally of a little white weasel or ferret, and then a little white... was it a cat? It was a fox, or are we talking about back when we were heading towards Noran? I thought it was something before the fox, but maybe you're right. Maybe it was just the weasels and then the fox. But either way, it seems that the all-white animals are the ones you have to watch out for. Why does she only choose to transform into all-white animals? It seems to be a bit of a giveaway. Because she's cocky and can pack it up. 
forward slash me shrugs. I don't think I don't think we've ever asked her actually. But I don't if, want if, to get down for an interview. If you meet her again, you could ask her. And anyway, the reason why we why we can't let these damn bottles out because they're tied to her. You know how Harper said that someone close to him will know that we're in trouble. It will be her. Yes, I believe someone's mentioned something about Harpo and demons before. Yes. I'm you thinking made a deal. this is... Zeta will say, wait, 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 wait. So, but why would she do that? That makes no sense. I mean, it's so obvious. I mean, it's completely obvious. I mean, he comes... She's toying with us. He gives us these bottles and then she appears the very next day? No. She's probably See, trying she didn't to give go you into shit. using them. It's probably what she's trying to do. She's going to attack us or try to scare us into pulling the cork. So, why is it... Why is she hostile against you if you freed her and she's... She's controlling not, one of your cabal mates? She's not hostile so much as she's... She's like a cat playing with a toy. Or for an analogy you might understand, Solon, I'm... Mistress Drow playing with one of her slaves. She likes to lead them along until she doesn't want to bother with them anymore. I don't have much experience with Mistress Drow's. It's the same thing for your ma- patrons. It's, it's... Yes, I know. I'm just being picky. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> hey, that's fair. Carry on. <laughs> she just likes to toy with us, I think. Who knows? She might know something about us as a cabal or us as individuals that we have no idea about. I mean, we found out who Alaria is related to the other two, three weeks ago. What's her interest in... Uh, I was about to say Zodi's Fane. Um, there's a lot to go on there. What's her interest in Harpo Killig? Another story that doesn't... That's all I can say. That's all needs to be said now. It's too long a story to get into here. I think the stories need to be getting into... So at some point, yes, because every time I've asked anything... He was in trouble. Hard. His entire kingdom was falling. He tried to pray to numbers of gods, and she was the one that answered. He was trapped underground when the drow were first invading Azadmir, and they, he was not able to hold them off. They were invading so he, from down below, inside the mountain. And in an act of desperation, he collapsed the mountain in on himself and his soldiers to keep them from coming up to the surface. And then while they fought trapped down there over the span of a year, she came to him in the form of a white mole or something and eventually offered him a deal to help him. I see. So it seems like she has certain benefits. Don't even try. Keep in mind that Solon comes from a culture that is like, yeah, demons, cool. We don't know. So far, she hasn't seemed to have done anything to Harpo, but nothing we can tell. For all we know, she is Harpo now, and she's just removed his brain. It's possible. We know one thing. He he said that his soul is hers after he dies. We don't know how much influence she has while he's alive. It's hard to say. But that's why we just want to avoid contact because every time we a lot <laughs> Solon sits there waiting for her to continue <laughs> Laura doesn't want to continue because it bothers her Second. Okay. does Roland have any input on this? Uh, just like Scientific stuff, and sign, and by scientific, I mean talking about how he thinks that Harpo made a deal with her, but that would not be pertinent to the emotional side of this conversation, and that well, would I, not help. They just said that, didn't they? No. Yeah, we did. Well, yeah. kind of, but well, not, not how specifically, but yeah, and but that's yeah. Roth's for tape. He he so, knows that wouldn't help right now. So let me get this straight. You. Set free the Queen of Succubi. Let let the her. The former queen. Come the on for, I'm sorry, Pookie. You're right. You're right. That's my mistake. You set free the former Queen of Succubi. 
let her take control of one of your cabal mates and swear fealty to her over you, and then you let her marry your sister. Uh, yes, she killed Alaria once. So you let you let your brother or you let your sister marry the man who's controlled by someone who's killed your sister. It is a very complex web here at the Lyceum. I know a lot about webs, and this is a pile of bullshit. This ain't a web. <laughs> I agree. After I learned of this, uh, Harper confessed to me I couldn't... I have feelings for him, but I can't be anywhere near that woman. It would be... So, so he confessed he had feelings for you after the whole control by a demon thing? Yeah. Dude's got some balls. I'll give him that. <laughs> All right, I'm, I mean... I mean, I don't think he's being completely controlled by her. But we need to be careful. We can't just go around telling him everything that we know. No, it's not he's that bad. Listen, he warned us. He said that he he told us, and that's why he went away, so that we wouldn't be in danger. And he warned us that uh, she had marked him or something. In my experience, whether or not you are being physically controlled by the demon, the demon controls your life. I know, it's exactly. I do not think that you understand how a succubus works. Which which bit? The deal part. You mean he fucked the succubus? He shrugged. I don't know. Well, it's a succubus, I'd imagine so, especially if she controls She's not the a soul. succubus. Then, exactly. But she was qu- Oh my. We're not certain if she was queen of succubi. We're fairly certain she was. We know that at the very least she answers to the title of the deposed queen. Oh man, I bet she the was deposed bit has to stink. Well, she stickers. was once a consort of the demon lord that my family served. You know which one it is. I've told you. Yes. I won't mention it here. <laughs> no, no, uh, that's... Katrina will Abe's, also Abe's explain to you uh, the city of Noron. That they had a second encounter with her as well. Uh, fourth encounter with her. Well, another encounter, yes. <laughs> that, uh, they went there and they found in a temple of Aristotle this po- this orb sitting uh, inside an orb. It's almost like a glass orb, or, but it wasn't glass. It was almost like still water that just was suspended in midair. And um, she, uh, they found that inside this orb was this little black speck of a shape of something that was inside of it. And they couldn't discern what it is, but it was like something was suspended inside this little orb. No, I did. I did. I I found out it was the the, the tailbone. Oh, okay. Tailbone. Yeah. Uh, So it was some type of bone or piece of a body or something. And, um... Mm. Tailbone of what? They don't know. They didn't know at first. Well, it turns out... You have an idea now, yeah. Uh, that they believe no, now know. that it was something... It was a form of uh, old ritual to keep something pinioned, which is essentially keeping something bound to a certain plane so it cannot leave. Did they let this one out too? Well, some... Uh, m- a-, a militant warlord faction attacked the town and uh, pretty much zerged for the temple. And when they got there, uh, Lamorin made her presence known. And this time she was not subtle. Alar- Katrina makes that very clear that in the fight, uh, it escalated rapidly from zero to ten thousand, and that uh, she immediately just made a call and started summoning in demons and massive gates and portals, and that they were intervened by uh, an angel came Literal. to intervene to protect the the, the pinion in the pinioned object inside the temple. So apparently she believes that Aristotle somebody uh, sent someone to help protect. There was a huge battle and when they uh, went back to pick up the pieces, the, the the orb and the piece was gone. Well, the orb is still there. The piece was gone. Yes. Also, Alaria died. Yes, that's where this came from. I'll gesture to the scar on my chest that I'll show you my back that it it's through. Yeah. So... <laughs> She could so Aristotle could only be asked to send one angel. It was no, so the angel brought more. Okay, I was gonna say this is why the demons win, people. Oh <laughs> no, it was not. It was. 
Hi, now can I can I do do the planes check to remember which one it was? It was the martyr one. one yeah, the but I want like I I, I, I want the handout or something like that. I want I, I want to bring up the handout. All right, go ahead. All right, give me that planes check, really. Uh. Yeah. I don't yeah, have I think... a handout for you, but I will give you the picture for it. <laughs> Um, well, well, don't bother with the handout if you have the 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 pet the, the the SRD. There we go. Yep. And, and it's made. Roland makes it very clear. This was not just an angel. This it was, was like high ranking. One of the oh imperial lord. <laughs> I yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, people yeah. form yeah. religions around this one. <laughs> yes. And that she herself arrived with a host of angels to protect it. And essentially, she was also protecting the Cabal. And essentially, Vildea essentially told the Cabal to, to leave, that uh, this was no longer their fight. That essentially had gone beyond them at that point. And uh, then a fucking uh, huge storm erupted over the town, and the fucking earth started shaking. And then uh, when everything settled after the fact, they went there and found uh, a very quiet and empty temple. So they don't know if the demons took it or if the angel took it. No, correct. And okay. now we are like, assuming the worst. We also now know that Kethix has something similar. I'm not sure if it's part of the same thing. But she will say but it's small oh, and black. Well, it's a scale. But yes, yes. it's small black. But they do know. Katrina will say is that ever since that day, Lady uh, L has not made her presence really known to anybody except Harpo, which was over in, as Admir. Um, well, if that's her. If it is her, it could also be one of her agents, the one who called herself uh, Esophithia, that was it. Could be. Maybe don't use the names of demons. <laughs> and, and that's, especially if they happen to be nearby. I don't know. It's very overwhelming, needless to say. Yes, that's why we're trying to stay out of her way, so she stays out of our way. For all, uh, do you have um, one last... Katrina will stand up suddenly. Oh, okay. Look around and say... Someone's watching us, aren't they? We'll I remember you mentioning right. that. Can you tell who it was or what, where it is from? They're still watching us. Kratal's just going to look at the ceiling and just glower. Roland kind of puts his... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um... Okay, what do we do? Wait for it to wear off. Hello, who is it? Please come again. <laughs> Nobody's home. <laughs> um, can you... Uncle, for suppression, do you have to be near the source or do you just have to be near the effect? For suppression, you need to be near the effect. You have to be within range of the effect. So could I technically suppress the... scrying on us? Um... You know, I'm not sure if that would be a really a targetable effect. Hmm. You just do an uh, area, and just hope question. you get the node, because scrying um, usually gets a node that you scry, scry from. Uh, yes, you can try to. You can try to suspend from... Uh, yes, uh, they are, in fact, scrying uh, upon Katrina, and so you can try to suspend us, uh, uh, suppress Katrina. It's just a concentration check, right? Uh, yes, it does require detect magic that you've got to be able to see it. Yeah, I can do detect okay. magic at will. Yeah, let's see if I see it. Do you want me to throw one out, or do you just say I do it? Because I can just do it at will. No, that's fine. Go ahead. You're fine. Okay. There's a detect magic from Kratal. Uh, anybody that's standing uh, within 10 feet of the door, please make a perception check. Son of a bitch. Also, want to remind you, Solon on the ceiling. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He I said that when we room on the floor. I he said did that when we actually say. Yeah, I said it when we ceiling. came into the room. Okay, I am. Right. Do you want to do the perception from where I was or where I am? 
God you know damn it. That's, that's, that's the... Nah, I don't know if I want that. Because I was over here, and then I moved over here. Uh... Yeah! Yeah, that's Chill. gonna be the climbing thing. Fuck it. Um... <clears throat> No, if you move, you moved. So Okay. Uh, yeah, so Kurtal doesn't pick up on the perception check, so he's going to work on the suppression. All right, Poogie. I love you, Poogster. <laughs> hey, someone's outside. <laughs> Just because she fucking failed. <laughs> I'm going to see if she gets a botch. If she gets a botch, it's going to be hilarious. All right, Poogie. You did not uh, botch. That's a fucking astounding success for you. Okay. Yeah. So, highest was Lealda? Fuck yeah, <laughs> damn. Okay, you guys are talking. Lealda will step forward. She was kind of leaning on the uh, the desk with her butt. She'll straighten up, step away, and uh, pull her weapons. Okay. The sound uh, of a slight whistle. <laughs> and she pulls out her whistling sword. And she'll uh, point at the door, or she points at Roland. Puts the tip yes. of her sword right at the center of his forehead and says... I hear footsteps coming. All right, and uh, I summon my armor and pull out my weapon Don't... as well. It could just be a attendant. It could be. We're not going to jump out at them. I don't ready. think so. I hear it. Pookie climbs up on the dresser and puts her here at head against the wall. <laughs> no, Roland. I don't hear anything. Roland, back up. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Solid just sits in the fuck etc. No, remember he's on the ceiling because he's solid. Does this, does the door open inward or outward? They all open outward. Okay. Yeah, we're in someone else's home. Rooms open outward. Huh? Uh, you As see, guest rooms would. Okay, the footsteps come up to your door, right in front of it, and stop. Do you do anything? Just waiting. Okay, and then you hear. This is my room, so get, let me answer the door. Wait. Just answer, is Sully going to stay upside down right in front of the door? It's not right in front of me. It's above it. Well, the ceilings aren't 30 feet tall. You know what? That's fair. <laughs> Can we help you? I'll say out loud. <laughs> but yes, I am looking for... Our wizards. Uh, okay. I de my armor, sheath my sword, but don't de summon it. Uh, you can do a uh, a wisdom or uh, well, sense matter would be wisdom. So sense matter check to yeah. uh, identify the voice. I guess sense matter would be to identify a voice. I don't know, actually. Yeah, probably or or perception. Well, either one I think is linguistics. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, it could be. Okay. Um, you recognize it as uh, Prince Hildrick. I don't know him, do you? It's the prince. We'll say, no. Um, first, before we go and open the door, I'm turning this on. Can't hear you, bud, Kyle. Come on, get the fuck out of the doorway. <laughs> Can you move your token? One sex. <laughs> One sex. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> this isn't a transaction. I start trying to like shove them. Blam! 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 <laughs> what the fuck? Did that not save the fucking token? I oh motherfucker! Just move his token, please. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yes, move your token. Hello, you can hear me? Yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full move is token, but how, I was asking Uncle, how tall are the ceilings in here? Uh, they are 12 feet tall. Okay, then Solon's crouching on the ceiling. But still, it's just gonna be weird if you're just a freaking spider hanging over top of me when I open the <laughs> goddamn it door. It does, and it opens outward, so we won't be able to see me. All right. Stealthing. Alright, stealth check, please. Okay, Solon's crouching uh, over the door. Yeah, in fact, they don't bother. Don't bother. Don't bother. Alright, you already bothered. <laughs> okay. And I'm opening the door. Okay. Roll shit. And you open the door. And you see. Dun, 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 dun. Move action to counter spells. 
Uh, <laughs> Fucking paranoid as shit. <laughs> and you see uh, Prince Hildrick standing there. <clears throat> He'll smile, uh, smile quite like large, much. and uh, cross his hands behind his back. Uh, just the person I was looking for. Oh, it's a pleasure to see you again, Prince. Uh, it is a pleasure to see you as well, wizard lady. Uh, <clears throat> uh, does this guy... Ah, I didn't send his skills. Fuck, I gotta do it. <clears throat> just to see if he sees fucking the goddamn spider muffin. <laughs> muffin. Oh, I didn't send any of the skills. Well, I'm a douche nozzle from hell. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, we're just going to say... All right, he doesn't. Huh. I'm... He'll glance past you and look at the fucking huge congregation of people you got in one <laughs> little room. Am I interrupting a... Wizard's communion? Oh, cool. No, we were just discussing, uh... How best to present ourselves at the coming festivities. We're not... A... Well, some of us are of no birth, and I'm not exactly sure what to do. Ah, there is nothing to do except to enjoy your stay here. And I wanted to welcome you myself and ensure that everything is, is fine. Did they put everyone in this room? Oh, no, we each have our own room. We were just, like I said, having a discussion. Yeah, well, I was wondering if uh, you will be... Uh, joining us for celebrations tonight? Oh, of course. What time do they start? In uh, three hours. No. And then if you wish, any of you who are interested, tomorrow morning, we are going to go hunting, and you are invited uh, if you are interested in that sort of thing. Hmm. Uh, possibly. We'll discuss that as well. Good. Well, while I shall leave you alone, I will see you later tonight. Uh, I can't wait. No bell. He turns and uh, just starts walking down the hall. Okay. I uh, kind of half glance out at him, but I think like I'm checking out his butt. And as as I do, um, I'm <laughs> seeing if my tech magic catches anything on him. And you fucking start staring that boy down, all right? <laughs> okay. And you detect a trivial trace of magic from a single object. Okay. Okay. Did I not say any of these fucking tokens? I'm gonna shit myself if I didn't say them to the character. Close the door again. Alright. Seem to be him. Yes. That's his polymorphed. This the scrying stopped. When? Mm, about halfway through that conversation. Nice. And there's no way to trace the source of it. Oh, well, I think there's a spell for it. I'm not certain. I'm not very good at that sort of spells. Anyway. Do you have any other questions, Solon? 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 Hello, Solon? can you hear me now? Yeah. Oh yes, we can hear so Sorry, I've been fiddling with my fucking headset for the past five minutes. I missed what the question was. Do you have any more questions? Okay, nope. Any more questions? Not for now. Perhaps later. Not. When we're in an area where I feel less like I'm going to be scried on. It's probably for the best. I suppose that new rule as it stands is body system. No one of us goes out somewhere without someone else with us. That doesn't include familiars, and then you have to pair up in threes. And what do we do when someone doesn't follow those rules? We killed them ourselves. And I'm pretty sure that was always the rule, Kurtal. No, we've gotten relaxed. We've been off doing our own things. Now, if we've seen her here, it's a different set. <laughs> okay. Huh. Alright. So, uh... Alright. 
Uh, you guys, those kitchens. Do you guys do anything <laughs> particular? Uh, I think we we're not sleeping arrangements. We can't sleep in our own rooms. Not well. Do you we see should that? buddy up. We can arcane lock the place, or if we don't want to spend the night, we can just get out. Consider that. Maybe what we do. Hmm. I think we should buddy up if we're going to be staying here. I agree. Mm. Well, how are we going to do that and not seem a little weird? Well, we're wizards. We already do. We're, we're by default. <laughs> Thank, thanks, um, Katal. <laughs> uh, I point to Roland, Katrina, and Zita have a good reason to be in the same room. The rest of us, they can just deal with it. I hear orgies are all the rage. That I see. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, um, should we split up further than that? We could. I suppose two in each room. It's a little more risky because it's harder to keep shifts that way. Well, the big thing is you and myself, Alaria. You and I don't require as much sleep. Me for magical reasons. You for natural reasons. I think Solon's the same way, isn't he? Uh, I don't know. Do driders benefit from the elven sleep thing? I'm not sure. I think Uncle Rule, they got most of the basic stuff that drider or drow get, but not the uh, more advanced. No, I don't think they do for that. Okay, yeah. Okay, well. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah. I don't think so. I mean, if it lists it, it lists it, but if it doesn't... I'll it go doesn't. check. I, I don't know if... It, I don't think it actually lists it. Well, oh, that's well, stupid. well, they've got a so hot thank you for your input, Tucker. <laughs> so the first watch can just... Sure. We can split yeah, it up, like the first watch can just be the person who needs more sleep, and then those who don't need as much can stay up the rest of the night. So, um, yes, uh, those three, and then, uh, perhaps Katal, Boogie, and Solon in a room, since Katal's a little hindered by his circumstance. Well, we need Solon in another room with someone else who needs more rest. This is under the assumption that Solon is a uh, benefits from the drought thing. Okay, we realize that right now it's just Solon, you, Lealda, Alari, and Poogie. Yeah. So literally you two, you three, and then so, Alari and So Lealda. let me get this straight. Katrina, Dunstead, Zeta, and Sugarcane, and Roland, and Chell. And Chell, yeah. <laughs> We're all going to be in one room. Well, that's, that's gonna be some. Why don't Katrina shit. and Zeta bunk up and Roland and Dunstead bunk up? There you go. That's more. <laughs> that's more like it should be. Chell can just sleep on top of Dun or sleep on top of Sugar King. I mean, we need to think of something. We need at least have two or three people in a room. Listen, those those people are set. Lealda, Poogie, and I need to pair up with you, Edgar Tall. Precisely. How we do it, I don't care, but I'll warn you, whoever's in my room, I'm putting webs up all over that fucker. <laughs> so you guys can do rock, paper, scissors, or wizard duel, or whatever the hell you want to do, but... <laughs> wizard duel. <laughs> wizard duel is arm wrestling with mage hand. <laughs> but I'm not going to feel secure unless there's webbing from the door to my bed. So now there's going to be webbing from the door to the bed. In whichever room I end up in. Okay, so. Um. Alright. Is uh, everybody set then on how they're going to arrange that then? No, it doesn't sound like it. I'm not getting any feedback from anyone. Okay. Uh, uh, so, um. No, I want to split up the martial and magical classes. So Lealda with the wizard, and then Alaria with someone else. Yeah. Well, because yeah, Lealda. We have... Okay, roll and move your token down towards Z and M, so we can let go and see what we have here. Okay, okay, okay. Le... Uncle, move Zita over down here, and move Lealda... Lealda over down here too. And Dunstan. Lealda and Alaria are probably both the most martial. Okay. Solon dabbles, but he's not extraordinarily good at it. Anything other than grappling. Room one. Room so two. Just, 
door down here, room three, door over here. Yeah, I'm saying that maybe it goes Lealda, Solon, and uh, Kertal, and then Alaria and Poogie. I'm just saying, Alaria and uh, Alaria and Lealda need to be split up only for the fact that these are close quarters and they need somebody to help protect those who can't the, fight in melee. The only issue with that is me and Poogie are both weak. Sorry, Poogie. Huh? Why are you weak? So perhaps the all the Kotal and Pugu should be in a room and me and Solon should be in a room. That works too. Doesn't matter. That's just fine. Solon, Solon is secretly pleased that people think he's strong. Yes. What do you mean secretly? <laughs> Solon I mean, it just, just doesn't make sense to put Pugu and Alara in the same room. Like, Solon busts in there and starts trying to grapple us, we're fucked. It's true, women are weak. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> it's more like they just specialize in support schools. No, they're just bad. <laughs> <laughs> At everything. Okay, so now we've got All that right. settled. Okay. All right, so, uh, yeah, Zeta's uh, very happy about uh, those comments. <laughs> okay. All right, so I think you guys got that settled. All right. Anything else you want to do before the uh, you start congregating at the festivities tonight? Let's go get drunk. At the, festivities, that's at the festivities. At the festivities. Don't show Free up. Gaming, that makes you. Yeah, that makes you classless. Don't, don't show up. You get hammered to fuck there. Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, the dwarves have all... their tea, buddy. It's all gonna do a scry. I'm going to do a concentration check to scry raw. Okay. On whom? Keethics. Okay. Uh, that's you going know. to take a while, you know. Quite a while. We have two hours. Three. Okay. Three hours. It's a level <laughs> four spell. Tile. Okay. Right. So how long is it going to take? Almost two hours. Just to cast it? Yeah, because it yeah. has a normal base time of one hour. It does? Get, yep. get yes. drunk at home before they go to the bar because it costs less money. Exactly. I thought it was just 10 minutes. <laughs> Uncle, that 13 wisdom. Yeah. And it was probably not a good idea to have this really expensive necklace on her when she's giving a less expensive ne necklace away. Um, that could be seen as offensive, but not likely as a gift. Uh... It's uh. <laughs> we don't want to give up. You don't. Women don't want to give up their best piece, dude. Yeah, that that's not that bad. I mean, okay. it's not like it's their wedding or something. That's I mean, true. Okay. If I you're dead, sure. you know, if you're like dead from head to toe and stuff that's expensive, it might be a bit bad. But you're not. Yeah. No, you're fine. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. So now, if the scrying's gonna take about as long, and then the dude's just gonna show up when he is about to start it, then I'm not gonna bother. Okay. If only for the fact that it would just be a hassle. All right. And uh, all right. Anybody else want to do anything before you go? No. Um, I'm, I'm tempted to, to cast something on myself. I'm tempted to say that I want to do protection from evil, but I have that as a spell-like ability, so I don't have to. You do? Yeah. Lucky. Okay. I got a. Uh, I got magic expertise, so I get it as a twice a day special ability. Okay. Never yeah, tried to do that feet, Uncle. Greater. Yeah. Um, what's it called? Is it fourth level? False light greater. Okay. All right. And uh, all right, everybody settles in. What are you going to do with your equipment while you go to the dub ball? Uh, it's mostly in the bag. I mean, Kertal's wearing his inconspicuous stuff, and he's got the blood skull cane as an accoutrement. Do you have one more charge of your mate trink whatever spell? No. Damn it. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, I can... Wait a minute. What? Did you really shrink everything yet? Yes, he did. Then you can't cast Thrall. Well, now your books are in there. That's right. Yep. <laughs> I mean, if you want to break, Uncle. Actually, I need to 
This is something I need clarification on. Yes. And okay, so shrink item the spell. I'm about to pull it up on the thing. Like I'm about to. This is directly copied. Uh huh. It doesn't say it's dismissed when you deact when you uh, shrink when you increase the size. Yeah, I, I don't know because when it's permanent, you can change it back and forth always. But I don't know if that's the case for. When it's not, it's hard to tell. Restoring the shrunken object to its normal size and composition ends the spell. Shrink item can be made permanent oh, with yep, a permanent spell, yeah. in which case it to be shrunk and expanded uh, an indefinite number of times. So we had permanency it. Okay, never mind then. I didn't see so that last part. It's probably something we'll want to do, honestly. That's a really good thing. Uh, oh, fortunately, yeah. he does not sell it because uh, you didn't declare that before uh, the bag was shrunk. They no, have all your shit. <laughs> Solon said he always had his shit. He, never, he, he always, said that he was carrying his stuff in. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you did say earlier that you're not carrying... Uh, oh, that's right. You know what? Okay, never mind. Solon's got his shit we, on him. He said he was carrying his stuff in. We just scolded him saying it looks crass. It yes. does. Right, Solon is crass. Shit, but then again, you are a disgusted monster. Wait, wait. First uh, of all, he doesn't look cheap. <laughs> he's wearing valuable drow noble. You are robe. a disgusting monster. DM said it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's true. I'm not arguing that bit. GMP it. <laughs> but other than like the magical items he got from joining Lyceum, like a, like you know, two tinder twigs, uh, an hourglass, he left that shit fucking wherever. But he's carrying his weapons and his uh, his spell components and shit. Okay. Yeah, Laurie has spell components. So make that he's not. Yeah, right, he's so not carrying them. Uh, you need to make a list of what you got on you and where your other shit is. Next in my idea. inventory. Okay. How long would it take? How long would it take you to raw cast uh, reduce item thingy? It is a third, third level, level spell, spell, so it would Half require a concentration check of eighteen and thirty minutes. For fuck. Okay. Uh, well, I have an idea. For once. Hmm. What? Um. We still have the holy water bottles. If we want to divvy them out. You some haven't been them, holding on to them? Some of I, them I were, have mine. Uh, some of them were used or destroyed. Mine was collect. used. Mine was used. Uh, I've already deleted it from the sheet. I have mine. Okay. I, I gave mine to Eridia. Yeah. Eridia has hers. Has hers. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have enough, because remember, that was several people ago. Uh... No, several people ago. Maybe yeah, I remember. I know. I know. And Cowardly lost his, and uh, I know. I, I remember I... that specifically. I know Cowardly. that. <laughs> Fuck me, I remember that. Well, Maybe great. Rest in pieces. So, so, am I the only one who has his at all? Great. And Katrina has hers. Okay. Katrina has hers. Katrina, you. Yeah. Hers is in the set. Yeah. Is it? Mine's in no. the sack. They're both in the sack. They're both in the sack. Why would you not carry that around you always? <laughs> Whatever. Because they're in the sack. I didn't think about it. Because he doesn't want to come in here looking like a lush. Fucking it's just like an, in it's, bottles it's a of bottle. fucking booze. Yeah, for real. I don't want her to come in here looking like a fucking peasant. Okay. All right, so. All right. I think that Can everybody's you, about set you here. Raw test it for being to treat it to be safe. <laughs> I have questions for you, Krakal. I didn't hear it because it was getting drowned out by each other. I said, are you willing to raw cast it for two people to be safe? So you want me to shrink down the bottle? No. Or just to, or I'm going to make the bed. open big. everything up again and then have you shrink it. One last time. I mean, we've got the time, yeah, I suppose. Well, it would cut into your scry time. That's why I asked. Well, no, I chose not to scry because... It, we only have a couple hours till the party, and it would have taken that long to just start the spell. If we yeah, make the bottles small, do we still get the effect? No. You know, mm. you have rooms. You don't have to carry everything on you. Yeah, and then they'll except just last time they left their stuff in the room, people tried to steal it. That's true. I had to turn mine into a fucking pillow and sleep on that lumpy sack of shit. <laughs> Fuck that. All right. Okay. So make your bed. Will you? Will you make your bed? You just so need to throw it on the ground, dude. Small. I mean, I mean small. I mean small. I mean small. This is I think that's your wife's job, Roland. <laughs> All I right. mean, yeah. 
I'll do a concentration check to try. Oh. It's this a is a very strange conversation. Will you make it big? Will you make it small? All right, all right. Shut, okay, okay, okay. The the, the, the bag of holding gets big. Take out my water. Take out three water. Here's your mine. And then I wait half an hour. All right. Is there anything else anyone needs? Please say now. Go on I once. could go for some gold. No, don't do that gold. Shut once. up. It's a minute. Go on twice. Oh, please stop. Uh, I haven't even opened my inventory yet. Let me pull out my thing, because there are a couple potions that Kratal has on hand uh -huh. that I want to double-check. I think it's a potion of invisibility, and the other one's a potion of delay disease, but I'm not sure if I have an anti-venom. Oh, oh, I have anti-venom. I'll get that out. I've got my mug. Katrina digs out some scrolls and rolls them up and sticks them in her tits. Mm -hmm. Nice. I don't know where she's at. She sticks them up under her dress. Nice. I want her to have... Like, uh, that thigh wrap thing. The garter What's it holster? Called? Yeah, a garter, but with it's like a scroll holster. Yeah. Hell, I, I can see her having that, honestly. Um, does anyone need a, a magic missile scroll? You know what? I'm going to take two. I'll take two magic missile scrolls. I'll put them <laughs> in. Check it. I've got five. If anyone needs a magic missile scrolls. I don't even know the spell. And then you get a scroll. All right. So is everyone got everything they need? You don't all know got... magic missile. No. I... Even I know magic missile. <laughs> oh, here, I'm gonna give you a scroll. No, our, I just said that we're all David one. He okay. might mess one up. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> okay. So I now have two magic missile scrolls. Yes. Yes. Poogies is level one. Mine's mine's level five or CL five. Because uh, it was from the some, something I don't remember where the fuck it came Good from. God, John, what book are you typing? Yeah, for real. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm typing what I have on me. Oh God. By his armor and weapons stowed away in extra dimensional space, aka her cooch. She has two bags <laughs> per level of components. <laughs> All right, that, so you're going to go in there fucking dripping salt and smelling a fucking ass. No, it poofs away with my armor. All right. Because it has, like, a bag, bags and stuff for it on the armor. Yeah, I mean, so I've got my away. components on me, but I always got my components. Everyone always has their components your under shit that. shit does not poof away with your armor. It's, the armor doesn't have, no. like, a pocket? No. What sort of armor oh, is a under, fucking pocket? It's an armor, armor, not a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> it's armor. under my metal Women's bodice. Armor, armor of the Bronx. You got a fucking hood. It's, two pockets. It's under my metal bodice. If I can speak. No. No, you can't. Okay. All right, I'm typing this out. Oh god, damn it! An anti venom hit. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go take a piss. Please get situated. I'm good. You, one person has to type everything they fucking have. Now the rest of us have to. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was. Slapped, I thought I, I thought I should go let the uh, the cat out of my trap. He was just wearing prison stripes, running a tin against the bars. I'll tell you what, that is one pissed off kitty. <laughs> was it trapped inside your garage or living in there? Or just have some way in? I, I, I detected signs that there might be an invader or a trespasser. <clears throat> and because I believe in, in, in uh, castle doctrine, even in the states that do not allow it. I have the right to trap any non-white person trespassing, and uh, or kill them. I thought that was only in Texas. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, so I laid out my trap to find out what the hell it was. I was really kind of hoping that it would be a raccoon, because I was going to capture that fucker and turn him into my little pet goddamn entertainer. But uh, I'm not. I'm not sure if Castle Doctrine, like, if you need that to apply to animals. <laughs> <laughs> I was plus once... that Home Alone kid better have lived in Texas. Otherwise, he's going to fucking jail. <laughs> yeah, I was once unlawfully detained by a skunk. They <laughs> <laughs> those goddamn skunk pigs. <laughs> Some bitch got on. Somehow got inside my porch. And it's just like, oh my god, I can't get out the front door. And uh, I was remodeling in the back door, so I literally had to, like I had to go through the fucking side window to get out of the house. <laughs> like a motherfucker's got me trapped in my own home. <laughs> uh. I once had to break into my own home, cut a window open, and everything. 
I've had to do that shit too. Yeah. I knew how to fix that shit. I just took a fucking sticky note and wrote, walked, came out the side, walked up to the front, and put on the front, uh, uh, <clears throat> KFC? No, postman, please leave package inside. And then I just let him open the door fucking. <laughs> Not everybody thinks on their feet like I do. <laughs> okay. Uh. All right. So, have we figured out everything that is ever never going to matter? God, I hope so. Mm-hmm. All righty. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just being a fuck. Time passes. Yep. <clears throat> Shrink down the bag again, saying I'm getting real tired of this. You're tired of this shit, Willis. It's finally time to go to the fucking ball. Go to the ballroom. Yep. And uh, ball, before ball, we leave, Kertal will ball, say to the group, ball. I have a spell called uh, Aura of the Unremarkable. If we find something and it turns out we need to do it and it's really illegal... Let me know, and I can make it at least a little easier. <laughs> hey, uncle. Mm-hmm. It is thundering and lightning. My power might go out. I'm just telling you now. All right, well, if it does, let me know with your phone what the fuck's going on. Uh, if then we can I, apply the experience. If I get out of the call, that is what happened. Period. Oh, shit. All right. Let us know, and then we'll apply the experience penalty accordingly. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Or the unremarkable is uh, enchantment, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's a good spell. Did you get that shit? <laughs> oh, I thought that was a spell you made because of the weird name. Mm-hmm. No, it is a uh, it is either a second or third party spell. It's very interesting. Second party. There's no second party. Alrighty, and you guys are taken to the ball. Uh, they knock like it's time for the gossipy ball. We probably would have started heading out, like, I don't know, half an hour before. Put on your puffy pants and let us go to the ball. Okay. Okay. Chill. Please don't embarrass me. <laughs> Please don't start eating raw When you come in, somebody bangs a big stick on the ground. Here comes... Trouble. Drow lady. Wizard. Of what the happened? Eclipse in Lyceum. Laria. Should I walk up? Mm hmm. Poof. Here comes the hairy Jew. And. Don't be, don't be mean, Sugar King. His froggy sidekick accountant. And they continue to introduce everybody. Sullen is like, you stay till the end. Uh, <laughs> now comes Lyoda. No, she cannot bring your weapons. <laughs> Now comes Three-Eyed Man. Now comes Red-Head Sexy Lady. And yep. her husband. Shut up. Here Shut comes up. beautiful Lady Katrina Hart. And her sidekick. Here comes Sexy Little Pookie Lady. And then fucking Giant Spider-Man. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty like, sure we're allowed to kill them for those introductions. It's, it's like someone um, doing like a commentate, like commentating for like in a, in a waiting <laughs> at a sports team. It's like, oh my god, they just stored a girl, and then they stored the girl. Yeah, exactly. All right, ball to the Lakers. Okay. Uh, when you guys come in there. You do uh, see a, a large group of people already there, filtering in, uh, situating, chatting. You see some musicians off to your left there in the front, setting up. There's tables all around. Uh, and you see in the back, uh, the, the prince uh, <clears throat> sitting there chatting to these two. Okay. Alrighty. <clears throat> Now, the first night, uh, first things first, the prince will walk over. Uh, Ilaria. I'm good to see that you can make it. And then he'll go through and introduce everybody. Bring you in, and uh, 
He will ask everybody how much they like to dance. Not me. I'm eight right feet. Yeah. It's left feet. Okay. No, I'm eight right feet. Right. And, uh... Okay. okay. Let's just so you guys can essentially come in. Eventually, uh... There's gonna be a bunch of people here that you can uh, chitter-chatter with. If you so choose. Uh... Absolutely. Okay, there's going to be a few people that come in along the way. One is going to eventually be uh, the Duke and the Duchess. Uh, the Duke is dressed down. Actually, he's not dressed very fancy at all tonight. The Duchess, on the other hand, uh, looks good, but even she's not dressed very fancy. Uh, they kind of just wear your plain uh, clothes and leathers, plain colors. Everybody else is quite literally much more fancifully dressed than they are. And, uh, all right, let's see, and there's going to be, well, okay, and then, uh, behind you guys, the only person that comes in behind you guys, are, are only two people, one, they introduce, uh, god damn it, Orball, where's Orball, there we go, they finally introduce, uh, the lady, Bianca Loanel. Who, uh, is a rather good-looking lady. Mm-hmm. Son of a bitch. There we go. Okay. And, uh... Enhance. Enhance? <laughs> Enhance? <laughs> okay. All right, then. And did I miss something with that one? No. Okay. <laughs> Nothing. You said, you said something stupid. All right. <laughs> I said en enhance as I zoomed in. <laughs> like, from... Jesus! <laughs> yeah, I saw they have it all the positive, you know. Uh, so, essentially, um, Bianca will uh, dance a lot with Prince and kind of be mostly around him. You can try to separate them if you want. And then the only other guy that's going to show up later in the evening, uh, the only other person that actually came in after you guys was... Please, uh, Please don't. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Arnoff. Hanneville. Oh, oh thank God. Man walks in, carrying a big stick, <laughs> strapped to his back. Scheiße. Does him tight. Okay. Okay, you can read those descriptions. Alrighty. There isn't a description. There is no description. 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 <laughs> 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 Okay. Uh, music will start to play. Something like that. These must yep. be one of those avant-garde bard groups that I've heard about recently. Yeah. Maybe a avant-bard. Uh, there we go. Tucker, did you just connect? Ooh. <laughs> God. I didn't know that they danced to sh sea shanties around here. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, you got this from Vampire the Masquerade? That's right, baby. That's <laughs> why it sounds so fucking familiar! Oh, that team. I like how his name is just Waltz. Yeah. That's all you need. All you need. Okay. So, <clears throat> essentially what we're going to do is throughout the night... <clears throat> Uh, to save time, because uh, remember, this is going to be a week-long event. Mm -hmm. Each of you uh, are going to talk with several people. Uh, but essentially, uh, you pick uh, three people, and you can ask them uh, each, or talk to them, either tell them or ask them three questions, or tell them three things, and make a social check. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> two people you can do once. Uh, so uh, we're going to start with Alaria. 
Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, you can be, you know, random people as well. You don't have to just do the named ones. <clears throat> yeah. So this is a group of young women mostly, right? Yes. Okay. So basically what I'm trying to do Three is at some point at some point when the man breaks off or something, try to insert myself into the group and start gossiping. I'm gonna be gossiping in how beautiful the Duchess looks and how pretty Bianca is and start complimenting her clothes and stuff. Blah blah blah. Okay. Basically the end game is to then go on to talking about Hildrick and how attractive I find him. And then trying to eventually suss out what if he has any other interests other than Bianca, if this is the first girl he's ever been with, that sort of stuff. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and do a diplomacy check then as you move over here and meander up to these ladies. And start talking to them. Okay. <clears throat> All right. You realize that uh, these ladies are all uh, related, actually, to uh, the royal family. All three of them. Mm. Some are rather distant, though. Everybody thinks that they're closely related, and they're not. Yeah, I got you. And, uh, why the hell is that not opening? Open. You fucking piece of shit. Okay. Open. You piece of shit. There we go. Alright. Uh, more ball. Okay. One of the things you learn is, of course, that the, uh, That uh, Bianca Loanel is uh, the sister of Yvonne Loanel, who is the vice migrant currently of all of Orval. Sister to who? Ivan Loanel. Ivan. Who is the migrant? Vice of migrant. Orval. Vice migrant. You learn that uh, that uh, Prince Hildrick uh, was the one to show interest for to Bianca, to Bianca. Uh, at first, and that was uh, about six years ago or so when he was about 10 or 11. And then they've essentially just uh, planned for this slow extended courting thing over time. Uh, Back then, though, of course, he wasn't the vice migrant. Uh, let me think. Yeah, no. It was right before he became the vice migrant. So uh, the story is that uh, he was attracted to her before she was anybody special. And then uh, Ivan, who's uh, the low and L's, essentially made a stellar rise. Okay. All right. And you learn through all that gossiping that Prince Hildrick is a rather playful fellow. And that uh, <clears throat> he likes uh, Bianca quite a bit. And uh, they're wondering if uh, whether if she wasn't anybody special, if he'd still be going after her or not. They're figuring probably so. Um... You also learn the secret that the uh, the uh, Loanels, the Loanels, uh, that uh, Ivan uh, was born a slave, and now he mm. is the the essentially the vice migrant of all of Orval, and that he uh, is very young. And he rose the ranks essentially through violence and blood. That he 
essentially uh, played a very cutthroat game of politics and took out his competition. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, you can, uh, alright, anybody else you want to speak to? I'm going to let that be uh, two because you spoke to a whole group. That's fine. Alright, so uh, one more person to uh, ask three questions to. Uh, oh, you can go ahead and ask them one more thing. I'll let you ask the, the whole group one more thing. One more topic. Okay. Um, I'll ask if they ever see the prince with uh, any other girls. Okay. Um... <clears throat> One person starts to say, well... And then uh, the one in purple here hushes her. <laughs> uh, rather quickly. And looks over her shoulder towards Bianca to try to find out where she's at in the room. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then uh, the, the blonde will say... Well, Prince Hildrick is very young. I see. Anyone in particular? What we heard... It's fairly... open. So he... What'd you say? From what they've heard, he's fairly open? Open. Okay. And, well, that uh, doesn't help the situation. And the purple, the lady in purple will say, uh, yes, well, who is actually his uh, aunt, hmm. will say that um, he's just a uh, an admirer of women. All right, nuts. Oh, huh. Boys will be boys. And then uh, for my last person, eventually I'll try to get this woman by herself okay. and get more information about who specifically she's seen him with. Like okay. if there's just one person other than Bianca that's more than anyone else. Okay. All right. You uh, you do manage to uh, actually do a diplomacy check just to see if you can extricate her. Okay. All right. So you do manage to talk her away from everybody else, and uh, what did you want to find out about it? Um, like the the number the I guess the number one or two people that he sees other than Bianca, like who sh she's seen him with commonly. <laughs> and she'll say, "Well, he will spend time with almost any woman." <laughs> Not. Is there anyone he has fondness for than Bianca? He's a very playful guy who likes to have sports. He plays sports. He likes to have fun. So uh, if you're his dance partner, he'll just keep dancing with you all through the night. But she said there is a rumor. She doesn't know whether it's true or not. Hmm. That apparently he is has a secret partner that he meets late at night who is just a nobody commoner in town that he sneaks off to see. Oh, how scandalous. Oh! <laughs> I'll chuckle. Well... Men, what can you do? She shrugs. <laughs> uh, yeah, well... It's, uh... The worst part would be is if Bianca broke it off, because... They've actually turned out to be a very good marriage. Originally, they thought that that was a very poor marriage. And mm -hmm. uh, thankfully, the, the, the his parents are very easygoing parents. The Duke and the Duchess are not very strict on that, which is why they allowed him to go ahead and engage her, even though she was essentially a nobody at the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, now that she's somebody, uh, and considering her brother is somebody who's very politically avarice, uh, he probably would not uh, respond well to a scandal simply because of the political backlash. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. And uh, you can ask uh, two people one simple question. 
Um, it's going to be with some other random people. Just, again, trying to further the narrative that I'm interested in him in some capacity. Not necessarily like I'm pining after him, but I ask about him, so maybe people start to think, oh, maybe she likes him, and then it gets back to the people, and then, yeah. Okay. That's basically it. Just All right. All right, so in that case... So planting uh, information. All right, so you're just trying to present a, a, an appearance, and essentially, in a story. Yeah. That, Not that, necessarily, that, like, everyone knows it as, like, a rumor. Basically, I'm trying to start a rumor that I'm interested in him. Okay, all right. So uh, go ahead and make uh, two diplomacy checks, and we'll see how well you do that, then. Come on, I'm fishing for that crit. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, second one. Okay. Oh, it's not, not great either. All right, well, uh, uh, do you want to point who you speak to, or does not matter, just random people? Um, People that look more common. Okay. Uh, well, uh, you can speak to one of the musicians when they're, you know, take a break. Yeah, that's probably what it is, yeah. Okay. That's perfect. And uh, maybe, do you want actually one of the, the servers and all? Because they're, they're here, but you don't see them. Okay, yeah, probably one, one server and then okay. one of the musicians. Okay. All right. Okay. And it seems to uh, take on, and they're very interested in uh, the server. Uh, Fake Keeper, one die 100, please. It happens to be her. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> okay. Um, the server says that, uh, well, you should go speak to him if you really like him. It's uh, He's... Uh, a very nice guy, and he's uh, fun to pee around. No, I'll consider it. Okay. Uh, the musician uh, seems to uh, take on, uh, seems to find your interest in him quite amusing, and says that, uh, well, you know, if you're a wizard, uh, cast a spell on him. And then she says, you know, don't. Yeah, actually, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did not mean what I said. <laughs> I'll take Indeed. it all back. Okay. Alrighty. Now, Curdle the Schmirtle. Hello. Okay, who do you want to talk to? First, the free questions. Hmm. Where's Alaria? There she is. Yeah, it looks like she's been working this side of the room. I want to talk to this group over here with the guy with the fancy hat. The fancy hat! The fancy hat! Hubba -dubba, well, that's, hubba -dubba, hubba. A, that's a blue hair? No, it's not. That's fancy hat. I'm giving you shit. <laughs> okay. Eh, we don't know if it's blue hair or not. It might be. I'm checking. I think it's like it's a, a turban fancy. and a cape. Yeah, it's a, it's a turby. Okay, there's two There are actually people. two fancy hat groups. Don't worry about it. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. All right. You speak to that man. What do you want to ask him? Yeah, go over here, introduce myself to the prince for sort of addressing everyone. Because obviously that's what I would do since this is Horta, his thing. Okay. And he greets you and he actually introduces you to them in case they forgot from your introductions. By the way, this three eyed mongrel is Wizard Kertal. Kertal Orlin, a pleasure to meet all of you. And you, Prince Hilderic. I'm sorry we didn't get out to meet that, did not get to meet earlier. It's been busy being a wizard recently. He nods. I just came over to hear the recent news. I have not been to this part of Harn, though I plan on living relatively nearby sometime soon. I was wondering if someone could give me an update as to how things are going. Gods only know, if you've been down south, a thule is causing a commotion, and things in Kaldor are no better. Okay, you hear about the surrender of Kaldor? You hear about uh, the Golden Panther getting his ass whooped <laughs> uh, whole way back to fucking Golgotha or whatever the name of that goddamn city is. Always Golgotha. I always get it wrong. And uh, and then they talk uh, extensively about Ternu Heth and how they have marched to battle, which is. Uh, Kind of has him a little bit worried because you know usually the uh, the great families, uh, the three, the city families, the city lords don't usually cooperate, and uh, 
fact that most of them now are uh, could spell goodness for Tur Nuheth, and uh, they're not sure how well that's going to be for everybody else. Okay, next question. Hmm. Well, Prince Hilderic and your lovely bride to be Bianca. Are you I speaking was... to Prince Hilderic or this guy? Well, I was curious. Um, it's the group, and I'm. This is sort of coming up since this is the affair. We're okay. talking about current events. All right. And I myself am a married man, although this is not terribly well known. I was wondering if you, or perhaps someone else in the group, could tell me how you met Bianca here. Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> it was on a visit to Gelderheim. I was there with my father. And we were on a trip, and my father and uh, her brother were discussing business, politics. Well, actually, it was not her brother. It was the person her brother worked for at the time, the current migrant. And while they were discussing, uh, Bianca and I had nothing to do. So we, uh, we ran around the courtyards, and uh, we met. Uh, actually, at one time where we ran into each other, literally, and I, uh, knocked her into a large puddle of mud. I liked that quite a lot. Reminds me of the story of my mother and father. Hmm. She threw him through the wall of a nearby building. She threw him? Wow. That woman must have been able to chew through a ham bone, I tell you. You'd believe it, the way she could give, the way she could scold someone. Ah. Hmm. Uh, I do miss her. But happier news, happier times. So, I wonder. I'm not terribly familiar with how politics work around here. You're to inherit the throne from your father, or is it similar to Erethel, where it is an elected leadership? No, no. no this is... Uh... A traditional state. We have been this way many years. We are, our family has gone back for over 800 years. Uh, changing names only twice. Uh, but it has always been the same bloodline. We are monarchs and uh, it is patrilineal, but uh, inheritance. Hmm. A patriarchy. I will, yes, I will inherit. And then my son will inherit, and so forth. <clears throat> we have Margraves. Most of our nobility, nobility, though, comes up through the Hog Knights. Becoming a Hog Knight grants you great esteem and instant nobility, if you live to become inducted into the Order. They are an impressive bunch. I have met the Lord Kundabad, who is a Hog Knight, I believe. Yes. Or at least if he's... He should be arriving for the later events this week. Uh, hopefully Thrasamond will make it here as well. A good man. He gave the uh, property to myself and my cabal, so we are setting up a home there, actually. Hmm. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, my father also approved that. We were glad to have, like I said... And my father would love to have. One thing Illyrio has lacked, even though we have been a very important state in Horn. And he'll cross his arms and just start squaring off with you. <laughs> and suddenly his playfulness go goes away. And he's become very serious. Uh, why would like to know, as would my father, why the Eclipse and Lyceum has not brought a, a, out a post here. We are a very important state. We have mitigated between Jarl and Orbald in the Salt Silver Wars. And we have mitigated between Raisha and Jarl in the Dwarven Wars. And we have been independent and sovereign, unconquered for over a thousand years and well into the humbling. And we believe the Eclipsing Lyceum should be dedicating a post here. My prince, if I could be somewhat blunt, and Kurtal's going to kind of lean in like he's being real conspiratorial about it, the wizards back then, they didn't know how to appreciate things. And they were lazy half the time. 
yes, you hear tales of them going about slaying dragons, fighting demons, and shooting fire into the skies for no reason <laughs> other than they can. But, my cabal and I, we saw Arathel Nereal and thought, this area has potential. We've met the people here. We traveled through this land on our own research studies and thought, these are strong people. These are clever people. And when fighting a wizard, yes, they are book smart. But if you're clever enough, it is very easy to defeat someone who is book smart. We know this from firsthand experience. And we thought, who better to ally ourselves with than somebody who could beat us easily? He nods. Well, that is why we are actually very happy you are here. It would have been nicer if you were in Lyria proper, but you chose where you wished to go. We, I respect that, and I respect my father's decision for that as well. But you should uh, set up a post there or here. That would be much appreciated. I think okay. it can be done. Once our home is built, we can negotiate with the Lyceum setting up a proper post in Lyrial proper. And then people can go and bother them. The reason that we chose to stay over in, fa in uh, Shady Bowers to... Yep, thank you. Shady Bowers because we wanted to appreciate some quiet and get some distance while we practiced our own magics. Okay, all right. Uh, one more question. Okay. Um... And so this to... is going to be. This is going to be. Uh, to the, are you essentially engaging the whole group here in this case? Then. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, with all these occurrences in Azadmir and the Kaldor incursion, for lack of a better word, I wonder if anyone here has heard of any other stirrings going on. As I said, I've been mostly focused in what's going on in Southern Harn, and only recently getting my getting into the pool that is the Northern Harn developments. Okay. You uh, will be introduced to this lady, who uh, is an actual native Balakan. I think the only Balakan that we have met officially was. Um, Domarina. And she tells you that uh, <clears throat> that as for the wars and stuff, that there's been a lot of activity on her homeland. In fact, uh, to the, to the no. Yeah. Um, I can't dialogue all these things. We have to narrate most of this. Um, That's fine. Um, she tells you that uh, that uh, their uh, one of their uh, hold on, I forget the name of it. Shit. Uh, one of their revenants. That's the word I was looking for. Revenant. Uh, revenant. Um. Which, uh, from what she describes in the conversation, sounds like somebody of either significance or clout or a leader of some sort, um, has uh, fallen ill and a second one has died all within the span of uh, the same month. Uh, which is very awful. strange considering revenants are rather long lived. Um, explain to me quickly, revenant, similar to a high ranking noble? Revenants are leaders of local communities, and she also explains that they are also essentially conduits for the spirits, and Hildrick refers to them as uh, mediums or possessors. Ah, uh, the term that I would most equate to that, and that's just me being ignorant, I apologize, would be a shaman. She nods, yes, shaman. All right, already uh, that counts as uh, two. All right, so now you can pick uh, where you can continue with them and ask three more questions, or pick one more question person for three more questions. Let's see. 
I will you know, excuse myself, thank them for their time. Which, by the way, if I should have said this at the beginning. If anybody picks somebody to go up to a group and you want to say you go with them, you can and you guys can take your turn at the same time, essentially. I should have said that before. Yeah, so you, you can be part of the conversation. But uh, Okay, go ahead. Excuse myself. All right. Make my way over here to oh, do a Arnalf. Di- uh, diplomacy check, will you please? Yes. Make my way over to Arnalf. Okay. Come on. Come on, Royal 20. Twenty-two. That's not bad. Okay. All right. So that's pretty good. All right. Um. That's pretty thorough. I don't, I don't think they're gonna volunteer any more than that, though. Okay. All right. You come over here to Arnolf. He's actually speaking to these three. Uh, but uh, he's kind of migrating, so you can catch him alone. So he'll stop and look at you. Apologies. Your name was. Arnolf, yes? I think I heard it correctly during the introductions. Yes, it is Arnolf. Arnolf Hannibal. And what is your name? Mr. Hannibal, it's a pleasure. My name is Kertal Erlen. Kertal Erlen, and you are a wizard, I see. Among other things, yes. And what circle are you? I'm impressed that you know those. Most people just assume we're wizards flat out. But no, I am of the wizard rank. (laughs) Okay, you're not going to tell me what circle you are? Uh, Kratal is wizard second. Okay. Are you guessing? No, Kratal is wizard second. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'm trying to focus while I'm digging around for coffee and an aspirin. It is good to see wizards here. In fact, I've seen many. I'm surprised there are so many here, in fact. I was speaking to some people, and they seem to think that you are actually a native Orbella. Or, 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 what the fuck are you? Or, Lyrial, sorry, Christ. Native Lyrial. Lyrial. What the fuck should that be? Lyrian. Lyrians? Native Lyrians. Mm, in a sense. I think a more accurate term would be transplanted Lyrians. We are moving from Eclipsia to have a home up here. Ah. You have picked a good location to resettle to. <clears throat> Many of the great wizards of old have actually traversed these mountains at one time or another. And these woods, they're very ancient. Yes, I'm fully aware of that. Well, all right, a uh, question for him. And diplomacy. So, yep, sorry, I'm trying to find my good coffee cup. So, Arnulf, if it's not too much to ask, what is it that you do? I'm a traveler. I'm actually between work at the moment. I was <clears throat> injured a short bit ago that took me out of operation or any type of uh, functioning for a while, and I have only recently recovered. So now I am thinking of trying to find a new path, something uh, fresh for a fresh start. Depending on your skills, the Lyceum does offer a custodian program where you would join a wizard's cabal, although some... They are considered lower ranked than the Cabal members, so it depends on how well you deal with people with a level of arrogance. He smiles. You can do a sense motive check. He seems like the type who's dealt with some... dealt with some shit somehow. Guys. Come on, roll 20, do the rolling dice. Okay. He smiles at you and nods. Well, perhaps I should look into it sometime. I, that seems like a very worthwhile option. I may just do that. It has its benefits. Okay, next question. You said you were injured. How did that happen? 
I apologize if it seems like I'm prying, but I am a practiced healer, and if I can't help out right away, I'd like to learn how to do so later. I understand. Perhaps you would be able to help in that case. Uh, it was... It's been long resolved, though, but I do respect the Eclipsian Lyceum wizards for what they do. See, I was attacked by an evil wizard. Hmm. They do reflect poorly on us. Hmm. They do. Next question. <laughs> that brings up a very interesting series of questions, doesn't it? I need to add more creamer to this. Where, when did this attack happen? I'd like to try and figure it out. If this wizard is still free on the land... Did you well, say I won't where say or when? It was kind of like both, because Kratal, obviously being a Klipsian wizard, when you find out about rogue wizards going about doing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, probably more when, because this guy still looks like he's relatively healthy. It happened... Actually, I'm not sure how long ago it was. To be honest, my memory has been foggy ever since I woke. That's part of the reason why I'm looking for a new course in life. But I do remember that it occurred into the woods far to the west and south of Noran. Near the mountains. And that the mountains near Paran? Noran. Oh, Noran. Huh. And you say you don't remember how long ago this was. But no, I've lost so much of my old memory, unfortunately. Perhaps the wizard took it from me. I do not even remember what year it was that I last was awake. So I cannot even judge how long I was asleep. My condolences. I've been near Naran once. It's not exactly a place wizards are fond of going due to their... Uh attitude towards us there seems to be attitude everywhere towards wizards yes I am well aware of the fact okay and you can ask two people one very simple question or inquiry or hmm. you can, and what, which can be somebody you've done before too you know, just if you want to continue hmm. uh, Kurtal will ask Arnolf if he plans on staying long for the at the or not staying long does he plan staying for the week for the ball yes actually i <clears throat> was uh, fortunate enough to be invited and i'm most anxious to see all that there is to see here before i move on perhaps i'll find some place that feels like it's worth staying I pray the best for you. May Asira guide you on that journey. Mm. Thank you. Asira. Interesting. And he'll uh, bid you adieu. Yep. And say uh, thank you, and it is good to see you again. And then he'll turn and walk off. Good to see you again. Oh, shit. Was that a slip of the lip, or is that a... Can I do a sense motive on that, or is the first one still carrying you over? You can do a sense motive. God, as I think I know who this is. <laughs> Why? Who do you think it is? Okay, Kurtal's sensing some motive right now. <laughs> okay. Good job rolling when it counts. <laughs> Bam! Roll the confirm. Yeah. It's already confirmed. This is just extra. Mm -hmm. Roll, yeah. roll the, sh the cherry on top, yeah. bitch. As he turns to walk away, you catch an undoubted change of expression. It's subtle, but it's very clear. Your eyes happen to be looking at the right spot. As he turns to pivot away, you see the left side of his lip kind of turn up into a very sardonic grin as he turns away. Nice it work. Is, uh, Quite decisive and undeniable. Okay. Alrighty. I still got one question left, unless you want to count that as two. Oh no, go ahead. You can. If you want to, if you want to follow up with him, you can. He's starting to walk away now. 
No, I get the feeling that if I try and pursue him, it's only going to degrade what he may have accidentally let slip. Okay. Because, yeah. Uh, no. You said he was speaking with the lady in green and the guy in blue that's yes. standing right next to me right now? Uh-huh, yes. So, Kurtal will sort of politely interrupt the conversation, just, excuse me, that Arnold figure, do you know who invited him to here? He mentioned that he was a traveler. I don't think that he would know terribly many people. Unfortunately, no, says the woman. I've never met the man before. I thought he was with you. Is he not a wizard? No, but apparently we've met. He looks like a wizard. He has a wizard staff. Well, wizards come in a lot of shapes and sizes, and Kurtal will sort of give them a half smile and gesture over to Sullen, who is probably standing over the crowd. No, right. he's on the. F well, he's looming, but he's standing on the floor. Okay. Alrighty. At that point, Bianca! And you're finished, Kurtal. Bianca breaks away! Oh, God. Was he at the carnival? <laughs> and approaches Sullen. In fact, she uh, says do uh, bids adieu to Prince Hildrick and uh, walks directly to him. Uh, hello. Hello. A pleasure to meet you. It is a pleasure to meet you. You are a wizard, yes? Yes. Yes, I am. But Hi, who's been saying otherwise? <laughs> you are also a spider and man. By the way, she is speaking in Athulun. In what? Athulun. Athulun. Okay. Who here does not speak Orbelese, by the way, so I'd know? Solon does not speak Orbelese. Okay. Right. I yes, think um, I everyone in the party except for Lealda and Solon don't speak Orbelese. Mm. Or they speak Orbelese. Yes, I am specifically a uh, drider. A drider? Is that what they call you? <laughs> yes, yes it is. I have never met your kind before. Well, it is a pleasure to be your first, and Solon will extend a hand. She'll look at your hand, then reach out and take it. Uh, she'll uh, squeeze it and give it a shake. We're not very common on the surface. No, I do not believe so. Uh, do you come from a particular place? <laughs> well, most people come from places, but... I come I specific... from hell! <laughs> <laughs> I specifically come from the Underdark. Darklands. What is that? Sorry, dark... Darklands. Sorry. <laughs> Ah, how far down? I hear it can go for many and many of, of fathoms. Oh yes, quite far down. It was quite the journey from from here, from there to here. Ah, uh, I am glad you're here. I have always liked spiders. Oh well, that's that's wonderful. I've always had a bit of an affinity for them myself. She smiles. <clears throat> so, I am wondering one thing. Yes. Why did you come so far, if it is such a long journey? Well, my family decided uh, it was time for us to, to leave the place we were in the Darklands, and... We came here, and upon arrival, I decided that Lyceum life was was it for me. She nods and considers that for a moment. Thank you. It is a pleasure meeting you. You as well. And uh, she'll uh, kind of do a little partial curtsy with her head, and then she'll turn and... Uh, Kind of start walking uh, off to us uh, over here to uh, speak to these people. Did I get the impression that her Athulin was poor? I uh, nope. She just uh, has a very distinct accent. Okay. 
It, uh, her Tholen wasn't the greatest, but uh, the accent is going to be regardless. That's strong of an accent. She has a very strong accent. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, Fake Keeper. One die two to see between uh, Sullen and Roland. Who's next? It's a one. Okay. And uh, I'm going to say that uh, a one is... Uh, you said you. Sullen or Roland, so... Yeah. Shut up! I speak what I want. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Sala. All right. Um, I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> go right in. Uh, by the way, Kurtal, uh, you will have noticed that Arnoff. I walked over here and just standing beside the musician and just got his arms crossed and he's just kind of like staring at them as they play. It's kind of creepy, but uh, okay. I mean, if you look at the rest of us, we're kind of creepy. Yeah. So. All right. Go ahead. Some of us more than others. Solon is going to uh, to head up to the Duke and Duchess. Okay. And begin talking with them. All it right. is a a lovely party you are throwing. Thank you. Thank you. Quite the turnout, I see. Yes, we like to be able to do these enjoyable things for the people and for our son. I yes. hope you are enjoying yourself here. That is our aim. <clears throat> yes, yes. And how is your stay in Shady Bower? So far, quite lovely. Good, good. Now, I am glad that you are there. Yes, <laughs> I believe the... Uh... Oh god, I can't. He's not a duke, because this guy's the duke. Um, Lord? It's just Lord Gundabad, right? He uh, is a Margrave. Yes, I believe the local Margrave is also quite pleased with our work there. Yes. He has uh, sent me several pleasant reports about what you have done, including the effort you have invested, you and your cabal, into preserving uh, Shady Bower and uh, Muddy Hollow. Mm hmm. We are appreciative of this. Yes. We cannot tell you how much we are grateful for you helping our people. Very glad. Hey, first question. Um, Diplomacy check, please. Okay. Uh, Solon will ask... Um, where is... Sorry, his, his fucking character sheet keeps opening and closing. Um, he's going to ask them... Uh, he missed, uh, he doesn't know many of the names of people he's not very familiar with surface. So, uh, is there anyone here of note that I missed? Is there anybody what? He, he's he's, he's going to essentially say um, he's not very familiar with surface politics and ask them to sort of give him a brief rundown of the various people they have here. Okay. He will uh, go into the details of the nobility and how it works here, uh, the Duke and the royal family. Uh, then there is uh, essentially the uh, the appointed titles of the Margraves, which are earned. And then there are the simply uh, the lower barons and lords, which uh, function under the Margraves, which are they are simply just the uh, the uh, for the most part the management of certain regions for uh, on the Margraves beha Margraves behalf. And they work for the Margrave. Uh, AFK, one second. All right. Okay, I'm back. Welcome Wasn't back. he supposed to be the leader? Like, no, that was that was Woodmere. Was no, who the uh, main family in um, Neron that ended up dying? Most of them. That was Brayton, though. Okay. We're trying to think. We know who Arnolf is. I can't remember off the top of my head. Like, I, the name, like, I know it. I fucking know it. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to do to keep things oh. uh, interested. Uh, Roland, you pick one of your first three here. Uh, for your first three, and then we'll alternate back and forth. Uh, I am Poogie. You don't get in sweet pea. Uh... You know what? 
I got. You know what? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> He's doing. He's just doing. A, he's just doing a casually walk up with his nice braided beard because he looks sexy now. Mm-hmm. Yes, he does. It's well oiled and perfumed. And he'll just come up to him and like, hopefully, trying his attention just by him walking towards him. The man uh, seems uh, quite focused on the musicians. He does not seem to see you, or if he does, out of his periphery, he does not rec- recognize you. Or at least acknowledge you. Is that a short joke? You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. He uh, says without looking in your direction, and then a second later... He slowly turns his head and then his body to uh, face you. Is that quartz? Is what quartz? What's the term? Just crystal ball, or would you say like bubble, or what? What would the? You the could say term? the crystal orb or the crystal ball. Yeah. Okay. The orb. On your staff, it's beautiful. He'll turn his head and glance over his shoulder at it. And then look back at you. Ah. It is nothing special. It is merely uh, glass. Well polished. Truly. Hmm. hmm. Well. I... What is I po- I am Roman, Roman Stoutment of the Stoutment Clan. Stoutment. I have not met that family before. Do they have a more prominent name, perhaps in their ancestry or through a patrilineal line? Would he know that, or is that just it? That's pretty much it. It's just Stoutmans. That's, that's pretty much it. Um, they once were just called the Stouts, but that that's, you know, before, that before they started pretty... eating mint. Oh, shut up. No, that is all we are. Our very humble people. But you might know us as the Dwarven family out of Athul in Sharon. Athul. I will remember that name when I pass through there next. Hmm. Next question. That's it. You just wanted to know about the staff. So you just want to say that this is a one question one? Yeah. You just wanted to know about the staff. It was Tarzai. It okay. Diplomacy chip? Or actually, no. If this is going to be a one question one, it's no diplomacy chip. No. No, you just wanted to know about the staff. Okay. Hey, right. we'll turn and uh, listen to the music. Again, and just kind of stare at them playing. All right, all right, Sullen. Next person, please. What did Sullen learn about the various people here? Do, 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 oh, the do, actual do. individuals. All right, uh, he will start talking about them. Uh, you actually have uh, two pig knights. Okay. Uh, hog knights. This guy here, and this guy here. Mm. Okay. Fancy blue hair and fancy purple hair with a long glowing. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Uh, you have uh, a couple magistrates. Uh, the uh, front uh, Balakan woman is uh, simply an ambassador from uh, Balaka. 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 Okay. Um, this is a. Uh, or this man, sorry. This man, uh, fucking, uh, I forget the name of it. The, uh... Margrave? An elector. From, oh, elector. Uh, or ball. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Okay. I'm actually writing these on the tokens, because if I start moving these fuckers around, <laughs> the duplicates are going to get really confusing. <laughs> um... In fact, you know what? 
going to separate these, okay? <laughs> if you don't want to, you don't have to list every single person in this room. I'm just trying to get a general gist of if right. there's... Uh, family, relatives of the royal family, uh, sisters, nephews, nieces, things like that. A magistrate, um, <clears throat> family of uh, Bianca down here, or uh, they're actually not sure if she's family or not. She's a very close relation, nonetheless. Um, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> the uh, treasurer for the uh, kingdom, and let's see. Hmm. I don't think anybody else would stand out here as something special. Uh, nope. Uh, this person is a member of uh, of a uh, a merchant guild, a high-ranking member. Uh, and that's it. Okay. Uh, and not that anything stands out. The rest are just pretty much relatives and things like that. Yeah. Um, okay then. When there's a when there's a break in the night, maybe uh, when somebody's talking to Bianca or when Bianca's otherwise somewhat pulled away from Prince Hilderic, someone's gonna try and get in there and talk to Prince Hilderic uh, without Bianca nearby. Prince Hilderic, okay. Alright, so you're waiting for that, and that's no problem, because Bianca seems like she's going around talking to people. She goes over and starts talking uh, to Katrina. Actually, no, fuck Katrina. <laughs> she isn't interested in Katrina. She is interested in uh, sure, Kane. Zeta and Dunstan. Uh, she comes right up and starts chatting up Zeta. Okay. And there's your opportunity. Solon will walk up and sort of sidle on up and, and nod. There are many beautiful women here at this party. <clears throat> Hilda Quill uh, smile. Yes, there are. <laughs> And we are quite fortuitous for that. Yes, it must be good to be the prince. It is always good to be the prince. So and I will chuckle. It is always good to be the prince's friend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, I am curious. Those legs. Mm -hmm. How are you at wrestling? Very good. You and I are going to wrestle then. <laughs> All right. Are we going to put a wager on it? Absolutely. If I win, I get one of your women. And if you win, I'll give you one of mine. <laughs> Solon will briefly consider. <laughs> he'll, he'll ask, anyone in particular you're interested in? Hmm. Yes. Hmm. He'll scan over the women. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, two of them have been uh, involved with the uh, with with short and pudgy over there. Hmm. Although the uh, really? the drow one isn't. Who is the short and pudgy? He'll gesture towards Roll Roland. <laughs> oh yes, yes, I see. <laughs> Really? Two of them? Which two? <laughs> He'll sort of slyly nod towards Katrina and Zeta. No. Impressive. Yes, I think they might have gotten him confused for the orangutan. Well, I will wrestle him then, too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ask your question. Oh, my question. I, I was just going to try and chat him up about the... Uh, the women in here and see how interested he is in them and see if there's any that particularly caught his eye. Okay. Diplomacy check? Or whatever social check. I mean, you can always use whatever method. <laughs> tell me, who the fuck do you like? You tell me now, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I will take my tentacles! Or my, my tentacles? <laughs> my, my legs! There Rolled a three? Congratulations, you suck. <laughs> Well, maybe I'll get a bonus after I wrestle with him. Yeah. Well. Okay. Uh, so, you asked him if any of the women, uh, what was the exact question, or what was your aim to the conversation? Um, 
any of the women in particular have caught his eye. Aside from, of course, Bianca. And Solon will will do that sort of shitty thing people do where they assign rankings. <laughs> yes. Or he'll try of and course, edge him into it. Of course, it. Bianca has caught my eye. Uh, but other than her... <laughs> <laughs> mm. Tonight, tonight, I much like the dark haired flute lady. Mm. Mm. Does she play here often? Yes, sometimes. And she is very shy. You know what they say about flute players. What is they that? <laughs> saw that one coming. <laughs> Kurtal apparently thought the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> They're rather skilled with their mouth and hands. Hmm. Yes. I can affirm that. <laughs> okay. Roland. Who next? Who next? Okay. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. What are the familiars doing? They're probably ah! dancing. <laughs> Always oh, in the corner eating. Oh, oh they're they're food. literally in the middle. They're just in the middle. <laughs> they're dancing, dancing with each other. Yeah, yeah, they're dancing. All right, he's gonna come over here. Well, hello, and did just just work himself into a conversation somehow. Well, hello there. What's your name? <laughs> Oh, you don't be laughing, son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> you don't be laughing, stop! What's your name now? Speak it, boy! I want to hear it now! Say it! Give it to my ears! I applaud the attempt, Uncle. Glad well, someone's applauding it. Um, <laughs> I can't hear anything! Oh, hey, hey, son of a bitch. You just had to say it, didn't you? Who cut you off at the knees? God <laughs> <laughs> damn it. Um, okay. I'm rolling, rolling Stoutman of the Stoutman clan. Joel. I am Ambassador. Name. <laughs> I what like your name? beard. Thank you. My wife did it actually. It reminds me of the trees in Balaka. They have all sorts of weird things hanging from them. It looks like the beard of dwarves. We call them old dwarves' beards trees. <laughs> This woman is sloshed. <laughs> She's getting there. So yeah, no, little man. Me like that fools you got on your face. <laughs> <laughs> you got me do the doodles, and now you got the doodles, and now this is a shit show. <laughs> okay, uh, the question he liked to ask. Um, yeah, I'll spit it now. I'm trying to think. Well, what, what, what about the other guy? Hello. <laughs> I didn't even ask. I like to ride hogs. <laughs> so do I, man. <laughs> so do I. I. We like to ride hogs too, but we usually call him the husband. <laughs> <laughs> you would make a good one. I'd oil you up and ride you all night. <laughs> She is sloshed. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Any fucking day now you can ask a question. <laughs> Try to think, shut up. I had a question. I swear to God, I had a question. And you made me laugh it out of my head, you fucker. Uh. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Okay, 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 okay. How the fuck would you worry? Um. Hmm. 
So Alaria doesn't mind being offered up as a token, right? <laughs> you haven't asked her yet. I it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's, this is true. All right, Tucker, any fucking day now, dear Dwarfy. I, I, I have my question planned out and everything. You made me fucking lose it. Should I go to Sullen? Yes. Sullen, who's your next person, for the love of God? Not... Like, not my next person to interview, but he is going to ask Alaria at some point. So, Alaria, um, what's your opinion on being offered up as a, as a wager if I have to wrestle with Prince Hildrick? I think it's a fantastic idea. Oh, good. Okay. I was worried it might be in bad taste. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't lose, and I'll give you a wink. I mean, I think it's a win-win. If I win... We make friends with him. If we lose, we make friends that, with him and you can get information out of him. That that was the wink, so Oh, I thought the <laughs> wink because it was if I thought the wink was implying it's impossible that I could lose a wrestling match. <laughs> Solon flexes. <laughs> Shake my head and go off continuing conversation with someone else. Also, do you have any idea of the the opinions on using magic in a wrestling match? Poor, I imagine. Okay, I'll try to do it stealthily. <laughs> oh, just don't do it. A little bull strength never hurt anyone. It did when it got us in trouble. Little bull's penis never hurt anybody either. <laughs> so, when I cast something as a swift action using my bonded item, does it... Move action. Move action using my bonded item, does it give obvious magical signs? <clears throat> yeah. What if I try and do it stealthily? You're gonna put it inside your shirt and do it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you, um, uh, you could do that. Okay, I'll try and maybe think about doing that later. It, that puts a large person out of the out of the going though. <laughs> Rah! Turn into a giant fucking. You ready to wrestle? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, did you want to speak to anybody else? Oh, did you get to ask the prince three questions? No. All right. Do you want to ask him anything else? Go ahead. I forgot that. Um. So he says something about the flute player, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the lips on her. Um, yeah, can I save my other questions for him for after when we wrestle? Because I feel like I'll, I'll have endeared myself uh, to him at that you point. You don't know when like... you're going to wrestle. Huh? You don't know when you're going to wrestle, though. So if you wait okay. and you don't wrestle tonight, you might not uh, get the I'll chances. ask him when we're going to wrestle. Would you like to wrestle after the dance tonight? I think that would work well for me. Excellent. We'll do it outside. All right. Where it's nice Drop and a crowd. cold. Are you afraid of a little cold? <laughs> Not at all. It's <laughs> it's very cold where I come from. I got the question. Shut up. Next question. <laughs> Are you he afraid of the dark? <laughs> afraid of the dark? No, I don't really see the dark much. See, that is what makes us so much stronger. We have to be, you see. Because oh, yes. I like the dark because I'm blind in it. I like it. It's a challenge to me. I want something to surprise me so that I have to rise to the occasion. See, my problem with that is people sleep during the dark, though, so they don't spend much time in it. I'm near blind in the light, and that's where everyone spends their time. Well, tomorrow we will wrestle in the day. <laughs> I thought we were wrestling <laughs> later tonight, you... <laughs> <laughs> Any chuckles. Okay, and next question. Um, or, or do you want... Oh, you want to wait. Okay. All right, so yeah, you're going to wait until after the... Okay, all right. So yeah. you're going to wait. All right. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Roland. Quick before he forgets his question... Give me Again. to my ears now. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Speak up, little one. So <laughs> Stop. Just fucking say it, dude. You don't have to say it in character. Just fucking say it. Yeah. <laughs> so I've heard that the spirits naturally call to the eye. Or peep... <laughs> Naturally come to the aisles. They, they cling to the aisles. Is that true? Where do you be hearing that? 
A fellow wizard. It's true. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> God, these questions are great. A. Hey, listen, man. Yeah. And she'll say, uh, no, she will elaborate for you. Yes, there be lots of spirits there. They have been there for all the generations back to their beginning. The spirits are in the trees, it's in the air, it is everywhere. It is even in me and in you. I see your spirit. And uh, maybe later I talk to it. Eh? 